Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hey... What is up? Thank you for the gifted member series. Thank you! If you're gifted a member, make sure to give them a big old thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Thank you! Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, you're full of turkey and pie. Hell yeah. Ugh. Um, hello, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the super chat, thank you, thank you. Today, we are going to play Metal Gear Solid. I don't know anything about this game, except that Pomu really likes it. <laughs> I don't know a single thing about this series, except that Pomu really likes it, and he's in Smash. And he's got a big butt. Thank you for the five gifted pepper sheets! Thank you! Thank you, thank you! Make sure to give them a big old thank you, thank you if you're gifted member sheets, thank you! It's important. <laughs> thank you for the super chat. Thank you. Want to play this series? Good luck. Thank you. I'll do my best. I'm pretty nervous because... Oh, it's an older game. And older games are hard. <laughs> I'm, I'm nervous because it's an older game. And older games are hard. Why were old games so difficult? <laughs> You'll get the hang of it. Yay! <coughs> Eventually. It's younger than you. Okay. <laughs> First of all. <laughs> Play on easy mode? Is there is there a difficulty select? Oh my god, can I play on easy? Yes. Do you recommend I play it on easy? Normal is fine. Oh, okay. Normal is fine. Oh, okay. I'll play normal then. <laughs> and if it's really bad, then we'll switch. <laughs> thank you! Thank you for the super chats and for the member sheets! Thank you! Thank you! Yeah, I'm really excited to play because a lot of people really like this game series. Game, franchise game. A lot of people really like this game. So I'm excited to know what it's all about. Because a lot of people really, really love Metal Gear. I am those people. <laughs> so yeah, I feel like it has to be fun because everybody really likes it. <laughs> so it's got to be fun because so many people like it. So I'm excited. <laughs> I also like this sound. Um, I guess what? What is there like <coughs> things that you okay, so um for me playing games i'm okay with like backseating i just guess it's good to just reiterate how i feel but i am very okay with backseating and hints and like not over the top obviously but if you if there are things that like if there are things that would help me or like there is like a unanimous thing that you guys agree on then like i'm I'm cool with it. The only thing that I cannot tolerate is story spoilers. 
do not tell me what's going to happen in the story. Because Iwiwa Pandora's number one motivation to play games is the plot. And if I already know the plot beforehand, I'm not motivated to play anymore. So that's the only thing to keep in mind. Please do not tell me what's going to happen in the story. That's the one thing that motivates me to play games more than anything else. If there are things like like hints or like things that you think would benefit me in gameplay wise, like tips or anything, feel free to write. But like, don't yell at me. <laughs> because you will try to tell me how to do something, but you will soon very quickly learn I cannot execute the things that you want me to do. <laughs> but I'll do my best. <laughs> so I'll do my best, but yeah, just... It's cool if you want to give me tips and tricks. But please just do not spoil the story. That's the only thing that I have to say. For this, for everything. For, for, that's me, that's how I feel about every game in my life, ever. <coughs> yeah! Oh shoot. I don't know what the UI I think I think the UI of the game is it this one? Sorry, it's like a little cut off. You know, I just noticed in the I can move it all the way. This might be better. I might do this. If I align it to the left, it might help. So that I can sit here. So that I can sit here and it won't cover anything. You want the wallpaper? Does the background matter or is it just there because this is a square game? Square game. Okay, we'll figure it out. I'm gonna just keep it like this for now. <clears throat> cool! Oh my god, I'm so nervous! <laughs> <coughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> oh! You guys are so silly. I meant, like, because it's old, so it's a square. Stop. <sighs> Four by three is not a square. I'm sorry. Slightly rectangular, but not a full rectangle like we have nowadays. Thank you for the gifted membership. Thank you. Also, I did this thing. And now there's a silly guy. Is this good? <laughs> I did this, and now there's just a silly guy here. <laughs> Add more? Really? There's like a lot of them. Oh! <gasps> wow! You can add all of them. Should I add them all? Add all of them. Okay. Don't call him Jerma. <laughs> Oh, that's the same one. <laughs> Did I do all of them? Ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay. I added all of them. <coughs> he kind of does look like... <laughs> I've never played Silent Hill, so I don't know. Cool! Is that it? Is 
Do I start now? I'm nervous! <laughs> yep. Okay! Woohoo! Oh, wow. It's like really on the left! <laughs> I should move over then. Oh, maybe I can make it bigger then. Yeah, I can. Oops. I can just full screen. There. It's perfect. Alaska. Let me know if the volume is good too. I'll fix it along the way. The nuclear weapons disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago was attacked and captured by next generation special forces being led by members of Foxhound. They're so pixel. They're demanding that the government turn over the remains of Big Boss. And they say that if their demands are not met within 24 hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Big boss. You'll have two mission objectives. Solid snake. First, you're to rescue DARPA chief Donald Anderson and the president of Arms Tech, Kenneth Baker. Both are being held as hostages. What? Secondly, you're to investigate <laughs> whether or not the terrorists have the ability to make a nuclear strike. Stop them if they do. What's the insertion method? <laughs> That's him! The by sub. And then we'll launch a one man SDV. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. Tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound, your former unit, and one that I My was a eyes. Of. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mantis with his Psycho powerful psychic Mantis. abilities. Sniper Wolf, a beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, Women? Master of Disguise. Vulcan Raven, Giant and Shaman. And revolver ocelot, specialist in oh, I know that guy. Oh, I know his name. Fighter. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound squad leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake, the man with the same code name as you. The nuclear weapons disposal facility. They're covers different the whole people. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach <laughs> your target. Anyone going with me? As usual, this is a one-man infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment, OSP. Yes, this is a top secret black op. Don't expect any official support. I thought Solid Snake's like upgraded nickname was going to be Liquid Snake. I didn't know they were different people. I thought he was. Is there Gas Snake? Yes. Oh, damn. Press the plus button. For real? Oh. Whoa! What? Oh. I see. Oh. Okay. Captions on, vibration on. What's a briefing? <coughs> briefing for pre-game lore. Oh, I should do it? It's good. Special VR training new game.
do the briefing. Okay. Time, Snake. I should have known you were behind this, Colonel. That's no way to greet an old war buddy, Snake. What do you want from me? His voice is I so just nice. Why did you here so we could have a talk? Invited? That's what you call sending armed soldiers after me? Sorry if they were a little rough with you, but we've got a serious situation here. Only you can get us out of it. I'm Whoa. retired from Foxhound. You're not my commander anymore, and I don't have to take orders from you or anyone else. You will take these orders. I know it. Damn. Excuse me. Who's this? Dr. Naomi Hunter. She's chief of Foxhound's medical staff and an expert in gene therapy. Are you military? No, civilian. I've been sent here from ATGC. Pleasure to meet you, Snake. Don't worry. This injection <gasps> won't hurt a bit. What's the shot for? What's wrong? You don't like shots? Snake, listen up. It all went down five hours ago. Heavily armed soldiers occupied Shadow Moses Island, a remote island off the coast of Alaska. What soldiers? Alaska. Next generation special forces, led by members of Unit Foxhound. They've presented Washington with a single demand, and they say that if it isn't met, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. A nuclear weapon? That's basically so. Canada. It's close. You see, the island is the site of a secret nuclear weapons disposal facility. <laughs> it's close. Foxhound it's very close. A nuclear weapon? Now you understand how serious the situation is. You'll have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, and the president of Arms Tech, Kenneth Baker. Donald. They're both being held as hostages. Duck. Those are some heavy duty hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to launch a nuclear strike and stop them if they do. Any questions, Snake? Questions? I haven't even said whether I'd accept this mission. Well, you can make up your mind after you hear more about the situation. Looks like you don't have a choice, buddy. Whoa! Mission description. Is that what I just watched? Operation outline. Operation member. Detailed information. B is A? Colonel, I don't work for the government anymore. Let me go back to Twin Lakes. Why, Snake? Is your life in Alaska all that great? There's a dog sled race this week. Next Saturday, I have to be in Anchorage. Yet yeah, dinner on? The longest sled race in the world? When did you become a dog musher? <laughs> right now, my 50 Huskies are my only family. What? I've got to take care of them. That's so wholesome! <laughs> don't worry about your dogs. <laughs> What do you mean? I'm sorry, Snake, <laughs> but this vessel is headed for <gasps> what? the Bering Sea. There's no room for debate. I told you, even if I do owe you, I don't owe anything to this army or this country. He you has will 50 dogs! Why should I be stupid enough to do that? I'm no patriot. Snake, there's enough dirt in your file from your days as an agent to keep you in the stockade until you're a very old man. Oh, I see. Blackmail. No, Snake. I prefer to look at it as helping you come to a decision more easily. <laughs> That's but anyway, so... <laughs> I know you better than that. You take this assignment even without the threat. Why do you say that? You're a natural born soldier. You're not the grow old gracefully yeah. type. It's the same for all of us who've seen real action. The only place we can feel truly alive is on the battlefield. I'm a soldier too. I know those feelings of powerlessness, frustration that you feel every day. You've tried to play the Boy Scout out there in Alaska, but you can't race dogs in the snow forever. Why not? You have to come back to us and be a soldier again. You think my life is some kind of a joke? Snake, I just want to give you back your purpose in life. So 
so Snake is like a really good soldier and he wants him to come back. Press right. Oh, like this? Oh, Tell I Tell me about the nuclear weapon disposal facility. The disposal facility includes a hardened underground base. Even with our most advanced intelligence gathering equipment, we can't tell it's what's a happening option. inside. Okay. So someone <laughs> needs to penetrate, gather intelligence, and report back. Sounds like a spy movie. What's the insertion method? Well, an air insertion is impossible. Not with this storm going on. We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. Approach? Yes, within a few miles of <laughs> He's it. He's scaring me whenever I switch to his base. detection capabilities. They'd be able to hear our engine or propeller noise. And then? We'll launch a one-man SDV. Swimmer launch. delivery. Same as a torpedo. Only this has no propulsion device of its own. <laughs> After the SDV I can't gets see what the V is. Every time they say it, it's too fast. It. From there on, you'll have to swim. You want me to swim in sub-zero Alaskan water? Vehicle. Don't worry. Thank that you. suit represents the latest advances in polythermal technology. The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As usual, this is a one-man infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment, OSP. On yes. site. Ah. This is a top secret black op. Don't expect any official support. Thank you. There's more. <laughs> Thank What's you, Paul. <laughs> Twenty-four hours. Oh my god, I just bought the most comfortable pair hours. of socks on this whole planet and I'm wearing them right now and the I'm feeling, I'm so feeling far, myself. I'm feeling good. I think this when is going to be an awesome stream. Five hours ago. <clears throat> Wait, did I? Oh, shoot. Was I supposed to click the other one? First. Colonel, who are you speaking for? Naturally, I'm representing the U.S. government. So who's in supervisory control of this operation? The president of the United Colonel? States. Colonel? Which means that the president must be meeting with his top aides in the map room about now. You can move the camera? Now, at this point, they're still video conferencing Camera with each free. Other. If that's a real nuclear oh, warhead, should we issue a COG? Not yet. The secretary the of defense dogs are out. After you infiltrate, if you determine they possess nuclear launch capabilities, a COG will be issued. Well, if they haven't relocated Snakes to the nuclear shelter under free. Mount Washington, I suppose there isn't that much reason to worry yet. Is the National Security Agency in on this? Yes. So is the DIA, the Defense Intelligence Agency. The DIA? I'm starting to get a bad feeling about this. They'll be sending us some support. We don't need desk jockeys. We need a nuclear weapons specialist. Of course. A nuclear weapons specialist has already been assigned to us. That's good. <laughs> Do I have to... Oh, I guess it's not... <laughs> the other ones I could click the I could click the big box, but I couldn't. Comes to nuclear weapons. I know. Camera free. That's why I've requested Ooh. the assistance of a military analyst named Nastasha Romanenko. Nastasha. Romanenko. She'll be providing you backup by codec. A female analyst. She's built up an impressive record as an advisor for the Emails. nuclear emergency search team. Contact her if you have any questions. She's also an expert on high-tech weapons. Where's she working from? At her home in Los Angeles. California. Seems like a million miles away.
<laughs> I guess so, if you're in Alaska. Colonel, you're oh. retired. Why are you involved in this? Because there aren't many people who know Foxhound as well as I do. Is that really the only reason? I've been soldiering for a long time. Colonel. I don't know anything else. I guess even though I'm getting a little old, I still love to be in the field. Colonel, you're a lousy liar. Damn! Tell me the real reason. Okay, Snake. Sorry. I'll be frank. A person very dear to me I is knew it! <gasps> My niece, Meryl. I was gonna say, he's probably being blackmailed. He's frank. <laughs> what was your niece doing here? Several soldiers were reported missing the day of the revolt. And my niece was one of those called in as an emergency replacement. She looks like you. She's my little brother's girl. He died she's only 18! So Damn, she's I've tall! 175. A personal <laughs> motive, Colonel. We are That's not the combat soldiery. training received. I'm retired. I'm just Psychotherapy not now. to be attracted to and those I'm of the opposite friend. sex? Since when are we friends? I've thought of us as friends since the fall of Zanzibar. Zanzibar? With my personality, I don't have too many friends. God That's what damn. I trust about you. It's what makes you human. Please, Snake. Save my niece, Meryl. All right. But I have two conditions. Name them. One, no more secrets between us. I want complete disclosure at all times. And two, I'll only accept orders directly from you, Colonel. No cutoffs involved, okay? Agreed. That's why I was called. But one thing. What? I'm not a Colonel anymore. Just a retired old warhorse. I understand, Colonel. <laughs> okay, Snake. <laughs> That doctor. How retired. Is she part of this operation too? She was in charge of Foxhound's gene therapy. She knows more about those men than anyone else. You mean you've seen them naked? Make no mistake, I'm not a nurse. What? I'm a scientist. By the way, what was that injection for? It's a combination of nano machines and an anti-freezing <gasps> peptide. Nano machines. So other bodily fluids don't freeze even at sub-arctic temperatures. Damn. Nano machines. Not just one kind, either. There are different types which will replenish the supply of adrenaline, nutrition, and sugar in your bloodstream. Uh, now I don't have to worry about food. I also put some nootropics in there. Say what? <laughs> nootropics. A class of drugs food. which will help improve your mental functioning. It'll make me smarter, huh? Anything else? Yes. Benzedrine. It's a type of stimulant. It'll keep you alert and responsive for 12 straight hours. That was quite a cocktail. Anything else in there? Those nanomachines will also keep your codex batteries charged up. Well, I guess I can call you when I'm ready to go on a diet. Damn. You're welcome. <coughs> the codex? Is inside his brain? In his ear. Oh, that makes sense. Don't worry about it. <laughs> the chief of DARPA and the president of an arms manufacturing company. What business did they have at a nuclear weapons disposal facility? The truth is that secret exercises were being conducted at the time the terrorist group attacked. Must be extremely important exercises if those two were directly involved. Were they testing some kind of new advanced weapon? I'm not privy to that information. Do we know exactly where they're being held? The DARPA chief has also been injected with the mini transmitter. As you get closer, you should be able to pick up his location on your radar. Okay. I'm learning so many things. Do they really have the ability to launch a nuclear missile? They say they do. They even gave us the serial number of the warhead they plan to use. Was the number confirmed? I'm afraid so. 
At the very least, they've got their hands on a real There's gonna be a quiz warhead. after? Isn't there some kind of safety device to prevent this type of terrorism? Yes. Uh -oh. Every missile <laughs> warhead in our arsenal is equipped with a PAL, which uses a discreet <coughs> detonation code. Um. <laughs> Permissive action link. The safety control system built into all nuclear weapon systems. But even so, we can't rest easy. Why not? Because the DARPA chief knows the detonation code. Am I retaining it? But even if they have a nuclear warhead, it must have been removed from its missile. Mm. All the missiles on these disposal sites are supposed to be dismantled. It's not that easy Snake. to get your hands on an ICBM. Love dogs. Live in that Alaska. Used to be true. Colonel's but since the end of the Cold War, niece you can get is if you have taken hostage, so right he's gathering people that he trusts and that are good at the job to stop nuclear weapons being made is his job how well armed are these terrorists <clears throat> i know there was an exercise going on at the time they revolted Launched. they're heavily armed i'm afraid oh. what about their battle experience <coughs> the six members of foxhound in charge are okay. all hardened veterans i understand they're tough enough to eat nails and ask for seconds I wouldn't expect anything oh less right and they want big the bosses remains within 24 forces. hours or else they're gonna launch the, the, the nuclear weapon. So what exactly are they demanding? A person's remains. Big remains. boss. That's right. To be more accurate, cell specimens which contain the individual's genomic information. Cell specimens? Why would they want that? The terrorists need them. You see, these next generation special forces have been strengthened through gene therapy. Strengthened? You've heard of the Human Genome Project. They've been mapping the human genome, and they're nearly finished. Following up on this research, the military has been working towards identifying those genes oh which are responsible for making effective soldiers. There are genes that do that? Yes. And using gene therapy, <laughs> they're able to transplant Stop. those genes into pants. regular soldiers. <laughs> gene therapy. <coughs> we I'll want explain this part. big bosses With trousers. Gene therapy, we can remove those genes which we know may lead to sickness or disease, and at the same time splice in genes with beneficial effects, such as resistance to cancer, for example. In other what? words, we can overcome all sorts of genetic diseases and at the same time add genetic characteristics as desired. So they okay. want big so bosses' body so they can the dissect soldier, to you find out. The same way, right? Oh, yeah, that's what yes, I'm thinking. We could. But it all depends on being able to isolate and identify those soldier genes. And in order to do that, it's helpful if you can study the genomic information of one of the greatest soldiers ever. Oh, okay, I see. That makes sense. <clears throat> Genetic strengthening. This is so fun! I'm like watching a movie! Soldiers ever? The man they call the greatest warrior of the 20th century. You don't mean Big Boss. That's right. We've been working for Whoa, to Big Boss! responsible for his incredible combat skill. So far, we've discovered about <coughs> 60 of the so called soldier genes. So his body was recovered after all. Yes, and his cells have remained frozen in a cryo chamber. His genomic information is a priceless treasure to mankind. Priceless to the military, perhaps. His body was burned <laughs> severely, but it was possible to restore his DNA profile from just a single strand of his hair. Whoa. You people are amazing. And then you're going to transplant those genes into soldiers? Yes. We'll use a process that I discovered called gene targeting. The strongest soldiers don't become what they are by acquiring their skills through training or experience. We now know that hereditary factors are far more crucial for creating superior soldiers. Snake, we can't give them his body. It's potentially more dangerous than all the nuclear warheads on that island put together. I hear the terrorists are calling themselves the Sons of Big Boss. The Sons of Big Boss? Because they want to inject his genes into themselves? <coughs> Tell me about these next generation special forces. They started out as an anti-terrorist special ops unit. 
made up of former members of biochem units, technical escort units, and a nuclear emergency surge team. Their purpose was to respond Big to threats Pomu. involving next generation weapons. Oh my of god, it's just like Pomu. We all became weapons. Pomu. We're I'm all sure the sons of Pomu. Enemies. Who's they? These guys didn't start out as regular army. Looks like a pretty international group. Mercenaries? Yeah, and it gets worse. Most of them were from a merc Sons agency that I think you're familiar with. They were part of Big Boss's private guard. And after Big Boss went down, the military just bought out all their contracts. Big Boss is Outer. dead? After that, they were merged with our own VR unit, Force 21. I'm so shocked. Trained. The owner they of the brothel is so dead. Generation Special Forces should be called simulated soldiers. They have no real battle experience. Video game players, huh? <laughs> Don't forget, they've all been strengthened with gene therapy. They carry genes which make them excellent soldiers. Don't get careless just because oh, they don't no. have much experience. Oh no, gamers! I thought using genetically modified <laughs> soldiers was prohibited by international law. Yes, but those are just declarations, not actual treaties. Oh the my god. The thing is that nearly every member of the unit conspired in this attack. Unit Foxhound. Oh my god, Big Boss's picture was in the background. Be subverted to rebellion. They're calling it a revolution. Since they all went through the same gene therapy, they probably felt closer than brothers. They see the unit as their only family. The sons of Big Boss. But if they were regular army, they must have been interviewed periodically by army counselors. According to their files, they all got straight A's on their psychological tests. Damn. They all seemed like fine, upstanding, patriotic soldiers. But they all took part in the uprising? No. Several people didn't show up on the day of the exercise. That's why there was a resupply of troops. Was there any sign recently that something might be wrong? There was a report a month ago that they were acting strangely. Apparently they consulted classified information about the soldier genes and performed their own gene therapy experiments. They can do that even without you? Well, our gene therapy process is almost completely automated. And besides that, they're all geniuses with IQs over 180. What? Even the existence oh, of no, this I'm genome die is right a secret of the highest order. I'm We've sorry, been Snake. To investigate this thing it's quietly over. And deal with it My IQ is doors. like two. High Tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound, your former unit, Fox the one that Hound. I was a commander of. An elite group combining firepower and expertise. They're every bit as good as when I was commanding them. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mattis, chat with his powerful psychic IQ abilities. Three. Sniper IQ Wolf, Sandy a beautiful and deadly face. sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus. Oh my god, Master his forehead is huge! Vulcan Raven, <coughs> Giant and Shaman. And Revolver Ocelot, specialist in interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. Looks like a lovely bunch of folks. Too bad we'll be meeting under these circumstances. <laughs> Decoy final, Octopus, in yeah! Of him, Foxhound Squad Leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake. Liquid yes. Snake. And you're the only person who can stand against him. I can't believe Solid Snake isn't Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake. Man with the same code name as you. Tell me what you know. He fought in the Gulf War as a teenager, the youngest person in the SAS. 30s. His job was British. to track down and destroy mobile Scud missile launching platforms. You were there too, I believe. Oh, he's from Didn't the U.S., but he moved Western to Iraq Britain. With a platoon of Green Berets? I was just a kid myself back then. Oh, God. The details are classified, but it seems that originally he penetrated the Middle East as a sleeper for the SIS. Fluent in seven languages? He was a spy for the British Secret Intelligence Service? But he never once showed his face in Century House. He was taken prisoner in Iraq 
that after that there was no trace of him for Under several years. I'm trying after to see. you retired, he was Why are they covering Snake's face suddenly? I thought that by the time I left, they were no longer using code names. I don't know his real name. That information is so highly classified that even I can't look at it. Here's a photo of him. <gasps> Pretty shocking, huh? Your skin tone is different, but otherwise you... <gasps> I knew it! <laughs> I have a twin? I don't know the details, but it seems so. That's why we really need like, you for this mission. Why are they making You're his the face a little dark in this moment so now I cannot compare the two? You've got something that he doesn't. I can see it in your eyes. Why don't I find that thought more comforting? Little emo boy. Is that all? Quiz time. <coughs> ah! That was the. Borrow your scissors. What are you going to do? Don't worry, just gonna clean myself up a little. Huh? I don't want to be mistaken for the leader of the terrorists. Little haircut. Actually, a very nice haircut sound ASMR. I would listen to that. Yay! Oh my god, it's time! For a new game! I'm so nervous! Oh my god! Are you ready? Ah! <laughs> the gunshot sound is so loud. Select game level. I will play it on normal. Oh, my eyes. Oh, my God. This game is kind of hard. Don't say that. Stay alert. If you'll be through here. I'm going to swat down a couple of bombers and flies. <laughs> what the hell is going on? <laughs> I'm going to swat down a few bothersome flies. It's cold. Whoa. This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. I don't have to remember that, right? When you want to use the codec, press the minus button. I need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the minus button. Codec receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. You do? Ah! <laughs> oh my god. Oh! <laughs> Oh, shit! Who are you fighting, Snake? No item. Scope. <clears throat> Solid Snake's favorite brand. Smoking is hazardous for your health. Magnifying scope. Magnifying... Press A to zoom in, B to zoom out. Whoa. How do I stop? 
stop it. Do I smoke? Oh! Call. Snake, you have to crawl to get through there. First, crouch down by pressing the crawl button and use the directional button to crawl the direction that you want. Be careful though, crawling is slow and you can't attack when you're doing it either. You can stand up by pressing the crawl button again. You're already telling me what to do. Whoa. Happening. But there's people here! I'm scared. Should I just punch them? <laughs> Can I kill people? Thank you, Colonel, for trusting me with this job. He's just stretching it out. I won't let you down. This guy. Are those rats? Okay, we're good. life by pressing A while the menu is open. Box. I'm waiting. Am I hiding good enough? I couldn't take those guys out. That was so lame. <laughs> hey, don't come over here. Did you press the button? The, the elevator button? No. Uh-oh. terrifying <laughs> that's the whole game i have to do that the whole game i'm so scared 
<laughs> it's okay, I'll be able to I'll be able to kill people later, right? <clears throat> oh my god, Metal Gear Solid. Of the disposal facility. Excellent snake. Age the hasn't slowed you down one bit. So good. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. <laughs> An anti-freezing peptide snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. Okay. Is that the British guy? ID. Colonel. What's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea. But it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance What's to slip in unnoticed. In the chat. <laughs> Damn, when they said strong vibration, they meant to. Holy shit, my hands. <laughs> hours left until their deadline you've got to hurry oh wow he must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather who's that oh sorry who is that i haven't introduced you to is yet. that naomi this is mei ling no nope. she was assigned to us as our visual and the only other specialist. person's name that she i remember your codec, as well as your soliton radar system contact her if you have any questions about either of them <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. She's it's so an cute! Honor to to a, a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? <laughs> Nothing. I just didn't expect a world class designer of military technology to be so cute. <gasps> what? what? <I> just <laughs> no, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. <laughs> Come on. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake. <laughs> but uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a trained killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to learning. Yeah. <laughs> but first, let me explain. Yo. About your <laughs> the bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Yes, sir. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, oh. it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. My Save frequency is 
It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your binoculars, you're naked. You need to <laughs> arm yourself what? with whatever weapons you can find. Oh. I remember. First, I'm strip searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip search on me. What? I'll hold you to that, Doctor. What's going By on? By the way, sorry to disappoint you, but <laughs> I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. Is this me? No. <laughs> I was like, am I just if you running? Want to get in, there's the front door. <clears throat> it's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. Uh, there's one sentry on the left and one on the right. They're armed with five five sixers and pineapples. Pineapples? The game's playing the for me. I love this. He's sleeping. There should also be a duct on the second floor. I can't see it from here. <laughs> I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. Oh, now you make me play. I see. What is this? <laughs> ah! Okay. <clears throat> What's up, Snake? Save! Snake, remember what the girl said? The graveyards are full of indispensable men. Snake, you're all alone and surrounded by bad guys. Try to be careful and avoid getting into a fight whenever you can. You're right. Wow, you know all sorts of great quotes, don't you? <laughs> well, both my parents are from <laughs> Guangdong, China. But I was born and raised in America. I've always liked reading literature from both sides. Kinda keeps me in touch. I'll share some more quotes with you if you like. I'm looking forward to it. But to tell you the truth, I'd like to learn more about you. Well, <laughs> I'll think about it. What the hell? <laughs> Snake, your mission is to infiltrate, not to fight. Don't let the enemy see you. You didn't waste any time in getting spotted, did you? Too bad. Looks like your cover is blown. Proceed with extreme caution. First, you've got to rescue the DARPA chief. Is he talking about the beginning of the game? I'm sorry, Colonel. to get in. <laughs> I'm sorry, Colonel. I just wanted to fight. I'm so scared. What's happening? You don't see me. Perfect. <laughs> I see. Ooh, ew, I'm so scared. Oh, God. Oh, there's guys. <coughs> How do I look again? Oh my god, he's right there! <laughs> okay, so when I get spotted, it goes to like <coughs> high alert, and then if I can get it down from 99, then I'm okay. What does the yellow thing mean? They didn't explain the yellow thing, did they? I feel like if I go over there, I'm gonna get caught. Oh. <laughs> Did 
Disables electronics. Press Y to pull the pin. Release to throw. What is that glowing thing? A surveillance camera? Erm, don't go over there. Do I just throw it in there? Do I have to aim? <clears throat> <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Just throw. Yeah! <laughs> what is this timer? Oh, it's back up. Disables all enemies. Press Y to pull the pin. Release to throw. Don't. <laughs> See? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, cool. another camera okay so when I how do I get in here oh wow what's that <gasps> a gun oh shit all right things are about to change wait they said don't go through the front door right or actually he said Life is your oyster. You do what you want. Oh. How do I open the door? <laughs> I knock on the door. I guess I can't go this way. She's so stupid. <laughs> Come on. <coughs> Did I just punch the door? For real? Uh oh. I'm so fucked. Psych. bleeding <laughs> Oh my god oh, Jesus Christ <coughs> ah! Ah! can't see me. These guys really have 180 IQ. If 
you equip rations. Oh, I'll auto heal when I die. Oh. Should I just kill this guy too? <clears throat> it's not working. <laughs> Maybe they would open it. So, I guess not. So I have to go... Oh. He's busy. Reload. How? Oh. can check with the colonel. Good. You've got yourself a weapon. To fuse it, hold down ZR. M for weapon mode. Select the weapon you want with the directional button. Weapon you want. Weapon mode. Weapon selected should appear in your hand. Okay. Use the weapon. Follow the instructions displayed on the window. Equip your weapon more quickly when you're barehanded. Press R to equip the last. Oh, the last used one? <coughs> Press R while you're holding a weapon to be barehanded again. Don't fire your gun needlessly, or you might be discovered. If you had a gun with a suppressor, it would be a different story. Yeah, I'm playing on the Switch. If you have any questions about weapons or equipment, you should ask our military analyst, Nastasha. Her frequency is 141.52. One, four, one. Whoa. One, four, one, five, two. This is Nastasha Romanenko. A pleasure to work with you, Solid Snake. You're the nuclear specialist that the colonel mentioned? That's me. You can ask me anything about nukes that you want. I am also a military analyst, so I have an extensive knowledge of weapon systems as well. They asked me She's to so participate in this operation as a supervisor from the nuclear emergency search team. I was happy to accept. We must not allow terrorists to get their hands on nuclear weapons of any kind. I hope I can help you to stop them. You're a tough lady. Those terrorists are serious about launching a nuclear weapon? The world cannot stand by idly and allow that to happen, and neither can I. Unfortunately, all I can do from here is provide you with information. Hopefully that'll be enough. That's good, Another though. Another soldier here wouldn't make a difference anyway. It's good to work with you, Nastasha. Same here, Snake. Oh. <laughs> um... Okay. <laughs> Why does she have to say it like that? Um. 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 Wowie. <clears throat> Can you go to the right? <gasps> Damn it. Fuck. Is that a door? I can't tell. Wrong way! Right way. I'm kind of busy! I'm sorry. Oh, this 
is kind of scary. Ah! Do I have to kill the rats? Snake, this is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time. <laughs> Master, what are you doing here? Rats I quit are friends. being a drill instructor, Yay! so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? <laughs> Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you. So call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. Those mice are Alaskan field mice. Oh. They can't hurt you. Wild They're field babies. mice don't have a thick layer of fat, but they can still survive the bitter winters here without hibernating. They dig tunnels under the snow. And that's where they stay warm. Survival specialists, huh? I should learn from them. But there's a dark side too. Sometimes the males will kill and eat offspring that's not their own. To ensure the survival of their own genes, right? Yeah. Pretty brilliant program, huh? What? If there are mice, that means there must be an exit somewhere. Follow the mice. <laughs> Follow the mice. <laughs> if there are mice, that means there must be an exit somewhere. Follow the mice. I'm following the mice. Did they go in the water? In a second, <laughs> let me get a cough drop real quick. <laughs> Can you save? <coughs> oh, you're right. Can I just save whatever? Sorry, the solar ton radar won't work in a narrow space. Too much harmonic resonance. The radio waves produce interference, and we can't analyze the topographic oh. data. Try to hang on until you get to a more open space, okay? What? But it lets you save? Don't give up, Snake. Oh, your radar. Okay. Now? Use the elevator to change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. Elevator. Got it. What this? Can I go 
under? <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> That's so cool. There's so many things. Oh. Go underneath. Uh oh. Too dummy thick for underneath. Is this the elevator? Never doubt brute force. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Okay, I gotta be sneakier. This game is about being sneaky. Ah. Use the elevator to change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. This is tactical espionage. How do I open? Where is the elevator? sneak <laughs> press the button for the elevator how do I press things the action a button okay I don't go there. Maybe the other but the other door over there. Whee! There were stairs. Yeah, but there's a camera at the top of the stairs. Oh, unequip the gun. Okay. Look 
at the radar. It's picking up the DARPA chief. He's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him. Okay, I understand a bit more. I think. The green dot. I'm assuming I can't open these doors because I don't have a key card. Snake, if you want to go up or down a ladder, just press the action button by the ladder. Okay. Which is A. Now I know. Is that what that was? The spinning thing? I was scared. I thought it was like a fan. <laughs> I look down. Nope. You can? Hold X. <laughs> Hold X and look down. Whoa! Oh, caught a damn cold. He is shitting. Hate Alaska. Boy, oh boy, that woman is built all right. with his pants on didn't wash his hands Ew. he didn't even flush <laughs> sorry I'm eating a cough drop What the fuck? Oh. Is that a woman? Not him. What about it? Snake, <laughs> the DARPA chief signal is coming from somewhere in that area. Isn't there some place to drop down? Take a look around in first person view mode. I've been doing that. Thank you, Colonel. Chat, you're my Colonel. Oh! Like I'm here to save you. You're the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, right? You're here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent here to save your worthless butt. Damn! Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. How are they the going to get them out? Do they really have the ability to launch Hand a on the hip? What are you talking about? Ooh. The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They could launch a nuclear weapon. <sighs> How did they You can just launch? hear this? I thought this place was just for keeping the dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you is classified information. Okay? We're conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A weapon that will change the world. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank.
Damn. Metal Gear. Metal Gear! You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary. It's grown into a huge joint project between Arms Tech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. Whoa. If it hadn't been for the revolution. Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex! Rex. Rex! Metal Gear Rex. Metal Gear Code Rex? Rex? Metal Gear Prototype. They've probably already finished arming the warhead they plan to use with Rex. Yo. <laughs> this guy doesn't notice that he's talking to someone this whole time? Equipping weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? My bad. <laughs> but I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. I thought he had 180 IQ! Mean, pal, How does he not notice support. that he's talking to someone? Pal. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of arms tech. That's Not right. that guy. <laughs> Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But they found out my password. No! Password. Psychomantis can three. read people's minds. You can't resist. Psychomantis? One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. <laughs> It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. Oh my gosh, she's like Nami. If they find out Baker's password. Yes, they'll be able to launch a nuke anytime. But there is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Armstead, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. Damn. That's a lot of- that She's God. buff as so hell. Oh my God. Keys? Baker should have them. Uh. Listen, <clears throat> you need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes. They cemented over the entrances, but Damn. didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a pan card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits Whoa. data using the salts in your body as the transmission medium. What? As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You... Haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? What's Pentagon? happening? <gasps> what is it? What's going on? Hey, what happened? Oh. 
What? Naomi, the chief. What happened? I... I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but... A heart attack? Oh, no. Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not. Snake, you've got to understand. This op is security level red. You need the highest security clearance to get access to the complete file. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? Ooh. I told you. The Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. <laughs> What's happening out there? <laughs> what? <laughs> I gotta pee so bad, but I need to go outside. Stop it! Don't move! She stole his clothes. So you killed the chief, you bastard! No! I... No! Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move. You're trembling. You're scared. Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. <sighs> Can you shoot me, rookie? Ooh. Careful. I'm no rookie. Liar. That nervous glance. That scared look in your eyes. They're rookies' eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person, am I right? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie. You're not one of them, are you? Uh-oh. Open that door. You've got a car, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of here. Um... Looks like we'll be a little delayed. What are you doing? Don't think. Shoot! Oh, me too? Ow. Ow. I'm gonna die. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, 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 ow. How come she can stand still but I can't? What are you waiting for? Shoot! Don't talk to me like a rookie. I'm telling you, shoot! Ah! Okay. See ya. <laughs> Snake, what are you doing? Take care of the bad guys and get the hell out of there. You better use that weapon you found. I'm using it, Colonel. I'm using it. Ow. Uh. It's over. <laughs> Snake. <laughs> Wait, can I use the bathroom real quick? <laughs> I'll be right back. One second, I have to be so bad. <laughs>
Oh, thank you for the flesh. <clears throat> I just gotta use my strat. Duck onto the ground. <laughs> Wait, someone said... <laughs> Thank you, whoever told me that there's stuff under the bed. <laughs> How do I leave? I just knocked on it before and it worked. Oh. <laughs> Skip cutscenes in this game? I guess that's a yes. Oh shit! I'm sorry, women. What are you waiting for? <laughs> Talk to me like a rookie. I'm telling you, shoot! <laughs> oh, get up, get up! Thank you. Oh, there's more. How are you still alive? I shot you like at least ten times. Equipration. Thank you, smart people. <laughs> Did I just leave? <laughs> Are we good? Ah! Is that me? Did I blow myself up? Ration. Thanks for the help. Wait. Oh my god! Who are you? <laughs> what the fuck? You fool! You've killed him! I'm sorry, sir. His mental shielding was very strong. <laughs> died Damn! Now we'll never get that detonation code. Boss, I have a good idea. What is going on? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what is that? Good girl, just like that. I do that pose every time I'm in an elevator. Naomi, I just had <laughs> some yeah. kind of hallucination. Is it from the nanomachines? No, Snake. The nanomachines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Psychomantis. Mental feedback loop. So that was Mantis. <gasps> Save the game! What is it, Snake? <clears throat> I gotta save, girl. Snake, listen to what Lo Ji said. He who knows that enough is enough will always have enough. Just because you see an item doesn't mean that you always have to get it. If you don't really need it, think twice before you stick your neck out. It might not be worth it. Oh. Cool. Oh, I have to have the... Oh, cool. Elevator. Don't believe her. Always loot. <laughs> I 
<laughs> this is where I was before. So I gotta go downstairs now. Check the other rooms. Just ass. Use the binoculars on him. <laughs> God damn, he's caked up. My God. Nothing under here. You can go over here. Oh! Play nothing under the desk either. Nope. I'm full of ammo! In there. Oh, and where? <coughs> oh, I thought I went everywhere. In the bathroom? Nothing. I'm feeling full of beans. In the first door. <gasps> oh my god, he's still dead in here. Right here? Oh, <gasps> what did I get? The rats will eat him later. <laughs> what? What did I get? Oh, yay! HP. Can I go past this? No, right? Because there's a. <laughs> I didn't mean to go backwards. Yeah, I can't go past this. Unless I can, like, shoot it or something. Or throw a grenade in there. Not high enough. ID. Now I go B2. To find Baker. Four. Oh god. Plastic explosive. Press Y to set A to detonate. How do you know when there's a booby trap? The neat part you don't. <laughs> Press Y to pull a pin, release the throw. Well, it's but I'm full. I'm full. My card is not good enough to go there. Oh, he said, look for the wall that's a different color. How can you tell? Concrete? No. Yo! 
first person. Oh, that's so smart. Well, I found it. <laughs> what did it say? Why is that? A to detonate. How far away do I have to be? Like this? more maybe i can can i explore these other walls for the places that i can't go into i guess not There are more walls. Oh, this one. grenade so many oh my god i don't know any of these okay this one disables electronics this one disables enemies oh this well i know what the stun grenade is yeah cool there's probably no other walls just based off my own scientific Deduction. Save. Oh, you are so smart. <laughs> cool, right? Yeah. You caught Snake? Yes, I did, girl. Snake, like Shakespeare said, not had all spent. What our desire is got without content. Basically, it means that your desire can get you into trouble if you're not careful. That goes for items, too. Don't get too greedy or you might be sorry. Be careful, Snake. Does she know that I was going... <laughs> I'm sorry, girl. What is going on? Am I supposed to do it in a time limit? Wait! I'm not ready! <laughs> I thought I had a C4 equip. Oh, I didn't. <clears throat> Something cute happens if you keep calling her? Okay, I'll keep calling her. Strong one. Oh, there we go. Why? <laughs> Am I too late? alive. You're the arms tech president, Kenneth Baker, right? 
Don't worry. I'm here to save you. <laughs> no, no, don't touch it. What? C4. Oh. Oh. <laughs> right. Touch that wire, and the C4 will blow up along with the old man. So you're the one that the boss keeps talking about. And you? Special Operations Foxhound. Revolver Ocelot. Jesus! <laughs> I've been waiting for you, Solid Snake. Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. This is the greatest handgun ever made. <laughs> the Colt Single Action Army. <laughs> he Six needs to stop! More than enough to kill anything that moves. Damn! <laughs> stop! Now I'll show you why they call me. Revolver. <laughs> what? Draw. Wait. Shoot the monkey. What is this? Hiding won't help you. Oh, ammo. I understand the bullet you see. I make him go where I want. Ow! Park. Holy shit, he got so much HP. Is he reloading? Is that what's going on? Alright. I'm alive. Let's go. Ow. Is this guy gonna Oh, I'm hiding. Don't you want to settle this? Wait! There we go. Ow. Oh, thank God I did that. I love the smell of boredom. That sultry smell. Oh, shit. But you. <laughs> what is? Ow! Ow! He's so good. <laughs> yeah, use your one shot. I'm shooting the wall. Pretty good. Wait a minute. No. <laughs> He's revolving. I didn't even notice that Baker had HP too. That means if I'm a little silly, bad things will happen. In distress. Oh shit! <laughs> that was my little silly attempt. <laughs> my intrusive thoughts. <laughs>
I need my C4. <laughs> I'm just so distracted by Mr. Baker's sounds. <laughs> his, his little... His little... <laughs> I can't. Was that another one? <clears throat> okay. Okay. I won't be silly anymore. And I will leave this ammo on the ground. Hiding won't help you. I'm not hiding. I make them go where, I want. where? Oh, I'm I am hiding. So don't you want to settle this? No. Oh thank God. Can you come to the bottom side? No! Jesus. I love the smell of corda. You know, that's so free smell. Naked but snake. You Baker. I need the ammo. Yes. Yeah, I didn't mean to hide. Good. Did I get him with that one? Oh, I did. Nice. Ow, motherfucker. There. Reload, snake. I had such a good fight, but I'm just getting warmed up. Again? What, what the fuck? His hand! His hand! Holy jeez! What's happening?
my god. I watched I watched Pomu fight that guy. I remember. That's the guy that says, "Hurt me more, talk? Snake." Yeah. I'm not one of them. The DARPA chief told me he gave them his detonation code. What about yours? Oh, I get it. Jim sent you. You you're from the Pentagon. Answer my question. What about your code? There's no time. <laughs> I talked. <gasps> what? Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis's mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical implants? Kind of like a psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah, I'm sure. In that case, how did they get your code? I never had any training on how to resist torture. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he had some fun with you, all right. Oh, he's not human. I you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke it. Looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Ha, huh, you're a funny man. <laughs> so the DARPA chief, is he okay? Dead. What? I can't be. You know, that's not what you promised, Jim. Now you want to shut me up? Oh, oh my god. Down. I put What's my controller on the table and it vibrated you. my whole desk. Uh, I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart I thought attack? I was getting a phone oh, call. Don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree. But what do they really want? Oh, who knows? Maybe Oops. they're like us in the arms industry. Always looking forward to the next Sorry. good war. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. You still have the card keys? Card keys? To override the detonation code. I heard you had them. No, not anymore. Uh -oh. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists. No, that woman. Woman? Who? A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. A female soldier, it must be. She said she had just joined up as a new recruit. <gasps> they threw His her in niece. prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the colonel's niece? I gave her the key. Looks like she managed to break out of here, though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by codec. Until I was tied up here, that is. Codec? Yes, she stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to What? I thought her. it was inside of an ear. I'm sure she still has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, it's... <laughs> oh. Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> Damn! Oh, that's right. It should be on the back of the CD case. Try to contact her. I'll contact her right away. But tell me, if this doesn't work, is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? Me Meta? You need to find Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? The team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. A genius at engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. What if he can't come up with anything? You'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the nuclear warhead storage building. It's north from here. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? The nuclear age ended with the turn of the millennium. Oh, you're wrong. The threat of nuclear war isn't gone. In fact, it's greater than it's ever been. The amount of spent nuclear fuel and plutonium is increasing even today. Listen, have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. Drums and drums of nuclear waste stack this high. Real as life. As you can see. In the game. Because there's still no real way to dispose of the stuff. So they just close the lid and try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, essentially, yes. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Not only that, but several pounds of muff are reported every year. Muff? It stands for material unaccounted for. 
It proves that there's a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with no way to turn. In other words, there's plenty of available nuclear material and scientists for making a bomb. We live in an age when any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? Uh, Russia and China still maintain a significant nuclear presence. Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. To maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. The Metal Gear? You mean Metal Gear? Yes. You know our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets due to this so-called peace. I remember hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons makers. Yes, and after my company lost their bid to produce the Air Force's next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. That's why we pushed to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project? Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black budget. You can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production. Oh my god. No one can bother you. Not even those bleeding heart liberals on the military oversight committee. Secret. Secret. Bribes. I prefer to think of it as good business. Anyway, Metal Gear was going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed. I don't give a crap about you and your company. <laughs> yes, that's about what I'd expect from a grunt like you. Here, th this is what you came for, right? What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of data? All the data collected from this exercise. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. They don't know this disc exists. Make sure you report this to Jim. To your boss. I'll give you my card too. It'll open up all security level two doors. Yay! You walk. No. No, you go on without me. They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. That ninja? That was Foxhound's Dark Little Secret. Dark Little Secret? An experimental genome soldier. <coughs> oh. uh, you know him? You should ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. Naomi? You've got to stop them. If it goes public, my company and I are, are finished. <laughs> what? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself. Again? Okay. Oh. What? What did you do to me? Oh, no. Oh, oh no, it can't be. Those Pentagon bastards. So, they, they actually went and did it. What are you talking about? They, they, they're just using you for. Oh, oh. Colonel, are you listening? Now he's dead too. I have no idea. Don't lie to me. It looked like another heart attack, but... Some kind of poison? Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or dioxides, but we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Snake, I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. <laughs> Get in contact with her. Snake, there's a lot of electrical interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes, we have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, <laughs> I'm counting on you. Liars? Oh, 
Oh, my HP bar went up. So we're lying to each other now? This Naomi? How do I go back? Where did I come from? <laughs> I don't even remember. Where's the hole? Oh, there it is. Now I can go into the doors. There's people here now? Where did these guys come from? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> you kill them? Cigarette smokes reveal <gasps> No way. How do I smoke? Oh, I am. What's a F mass? You're losing HP. Ah! Oh, <coughs> so that's what that means. You're right. Place, Save time. Thank you. That's three. Oh. Snake in China, they say. You must cross the river before you tell the crocodile he has bad breath. <laughs> Do you know what that means? It means that the wise man avoids danger first. Use your brain to avoid traps and stay away from the enemy. Smart. What is it, Snake? Talk to you later, Snake. What can I do for you, Snake? Talk to you later, Snake. What can I do for you, Snake? Come on, Snake. Don't call me for no reason. <laughs> She's not going to let me save anymore. <laughs> What is this face? She's mad.
I should do it again. No. <laughs> <coughs> That was so cute. Okay, I should actually save. <laughs> She's gonna say, back off! How's it going, Snake? Have you gotten used to using the radar yet? Yeah, it's a great system. Not only can I read the topography, but I can monitor the movement of the bad guys, too. Pretty convenient, huh? It also makes it easy for us to see everything that you're doing. You're watching everything? Of course. If you were <gasps> my boyfriend, you'd never be able to cheat on me. Being monitored 24 hours a day, that'd be like hell. Don't think of it like that. At least you'd never get lost. Okay. I accept. I mean, let's keep going. <laughs> She's so cute! Ah! <laughs> Wrong way. What? I thought I was supposed to go this way. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even walk to this. I didn't even walk to this door. <clears throat> Oopsies. <laughs> oh, the back of the CD case. How do I look? How do I look on the Switch version? Google it! <laughs> LR? What? Online manual? View back. One four zero point one five. That's so smart! I can't believe they used it as like a screenshot on the back of the case for the game. Oh my god. <clears throat> That's so smart! That's so cool! One four zero point one five. Do anything in here? I don't know. Okay. One four zero point one five. Oh wait, that's right. I can't call in here because they said that it's jammed. Any other walls? Oh, oh, this one right here. How did I not realize? We oh, there's a century in there. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? That scared the shit out of me. save. I think I wasn't really doing anything much. I saved after I made her a little angry. I 
guess I should just grab these and get the hell out of here. call her. I should call her. Who are you? I was really impressed with the way you busted yourself out of there. The one from the prison? You're the colonel's niece. Meryl, right? No, it's not him. What? Just exactly who are you? I'm the fool that your uncle sent all alone into the middle of this whole mess. You came by yourself? You think you're some kind of one-man army? I don't need lectures. You're just like your uncle, you know? How do you know my uncle? We go way back. What's your name? My name's not important. Aha. Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid Snake? That's what some people call me. The legendary Solid Snake? You? Sorry about before. Ooh. I wasn't sure if you were one of the good guys. But I knew you were. Beautiful women. Ow. It's your eyes. My eyes? They're not soldiers' eyes. <laughs> and they're rookies' eyes, right? No, they're beautiful, compassionate <laughs> eyes. How oh, just what I'd expect from <laughs> a legendary solid snake. You trying to sweep me off my feet? Don't worry, you'll land back on them once you meet me. The reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. Oh, I don't believe that. Why did you look so surprised when you saw my face? <laughs> because you look just like him. You mean the terrorist leader, Liquid Snake? Yeah. You know him? You're not brothers, are you? I have no family. So what's the yes, deal? Yes, you then? do. Fifty oh, no. dogs. Why don't you ask him? But first, I want some information. You were involved in this exercise from the beginning. What exactly happened here? I'm sorry. I was captured along with President Baker right after the terrorist attack. That's okay. But what is this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapons disposal facility. Boy, oh boy, it's just like them. Nobody told you anything, did they? Okay. You see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a civilian base? Right. For the development of Metal Gear. Colonel. Foxhound and the Next Generation Special Forces were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Foxhound? Colonel? Because they're a special ops group used to handling top secret missions. They figured they could help keep it all hush-hush. But we must have fired nuclear warheads before. Why just this time? I heard it was because this was to be a final test before the formal adoption of the Metal Gear program. Well, that's what I heard, anyway. Uh, sounds kind of fishy. So what do you think the terrorists want? Mm, sorry, I'm not sure. I was captured with President Baker right after the revolt started. Oh, yeah. That's when he gave you the detonation code override keys, right? That's right. Amazing you were able to keep him hidden from the guards. Well, women have more hiding places than men. <gasps> anyway, you met Baker, huh? How's he holding up? He's dead. What? Heart attack. Same as the DARPA chief. The chief died from a heart attack too? Yeah. Was either of them sick or anything? No, what does she not mean that I by heard that? of. Well, I don't believe in coincidences. Something funny's going on. Hmm. Sounds like it. But I have no idea what. Me neither. Yet. Do you know the person who designed Metal Gear? You mean Dr. Emmerich? Yes. Is he still alive? Probably. He should be in the research lab in the second floor basement of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. That was a Same lot of words. Basement. Yeah, that's where his lab is. I think they're forcing him to work on the nuclear launching program. So they'll need him alive until that's done anyway. Then we better do something before he finishes. You're right. In case we can't override the detonation code in time, I need to ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. You plan to take that thing on by yourself, Snake? It won't be the first time. Damn. What's the best way to get to the building where the doctor is being held? There's a cargo door on the first floor of this building that leads to the north. What's the security level of the door there? Five. 
But it's okay. I've got a level 5 card. Well, I've got to go save the doctor. You should go. I'm going with you. No way. You're still too green. I want you to hide somewhere. I'm not green. Oh, yes, you are. You pause for just one second in front of your enemy and it's all over. Good luck doesn't last forever. I don't know what happened. I just couldn't pull the trigger right away. I never had any problems in training. But when I thought about my bullets tearing through those soldiers' bodies, I, I hesitated. Shooting at targets She's still and shooting young. at living, breathing people are different. Ever since I was a little girl, I always dreamed about being a soldier. Every day of my life, I've trained my oh. mind and body for the one day when I could <laughs> finally see some real action. And now... So what now? You want to quit? I can't quit. I can't allow myself to quit now. Listen, Meryl. Everybody feels sick the first time they kill someone. Unfortunately, killing is one of those things that gets easier the more you do it. In a war, all of mankind's worst emotions, worst traits come out. It's easy to forget what a sin is in the middle of a battlefield. But this isn't a war. It's a terrorist action. You're just a little jumpy from the combat high. The adrenaline in your bloodstream is starting to thin out. Just take it easy. But I learned all about combat high at the academy. We'll talk about it later. For now, just think about keeping yourself alive. If I get out of here alive, I'll think about that other stuff. Okay. Let me try to say this another way. Stay the hell out of my way. <laughs> <laughs> You're a real bastard. Just like my uncle said. Huh. I told you. The real me is no match for the legend. <laughs> it looks like you were right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Snake. They both be just a good laugh. Girl. We'll link up after okay, I grab the doctor. Girl. Then we'll take care of the detonation <clears throat> code override. Gotcha. But listen, I know this area better than you. Call me if you have any questions. Be careful, okay? After I open up the cargo door, I'll contact you. Damn. That was long. He's in. <laughs> I think this means... Oh. What? Wrong one. Oh, I thought I... Cool. Got to go back upstairs. Everyone wants snake? <laughs> you looted it earlier? Yeah, but then I died. So I thought... Maybe I had to go get it again, but... door for you thanks where are you where i can see ya Damn. don't move around too much don't worry i'm disguised in this enemy uniform you won't be for long with the way you walk what does that <laughs> mean uh, nothing <laughs> listen snake the cargo door is like an airlock it's equipped with infrared sensors be careful if an intruder is sensed gas is released gas okay so we'll meet at the nuclear <laughs> warhead storage building Wait, you said you'd stay put and be a good girl. I changed my mind. Don't get careless. That's when things always turn sour. Sorry, but this is the only way I can figure out whether or not I'm cut out to be a soldier. I gotta get my hands dirty. These guys are professionals. You're gonna get yourself killed. See you there. Damn, she is not playing around. Save the game! What can I do for you, Snake? Oh no! 
There's only so many saves you can do. Snake, have you ever heard the saying, friendly counsel cuts off many foes? It means that a little bit of advice from friends can save you a lot of trouble. Thank you for the super you chat. Thank you. Okay, I'll tr I'll look around. If you need some information about something, please call <coughs> Colonel Campbell or someone else, okay? She's so cute. I will make sure to like on the What is this wall? Oh, he's above me. Wasn't there? Or box. <clears throat> oh my god! <laughs> Iconic. the box but I'm scared read the description to heliport written on it So if they see me and they pick me up, they'll take me to where it's supposed to be? Use codex while in the box. Don't make too much noise or you'll be spotted. Be careful when you're walking on that floor. Don't make too much noise or you'll be spotted. Be careful when you're walking <laughs> on that floor. <laughs> he hates me. <laughs> 
Don't make too much noise or you'll be spotted. Be careful when you're walking on that floor. Ernal is not. A cardboard box. A cardboard box usually consists of a thin pasteboard <laughs> no. with a corrugated paper center. They are usually made of recycled paper. It was first invented in Europe over a hundred years ago. It was originally used to absorb one's sweat when wearing hats. With the same amount of wood to make one wooden box, you can make six or seven cardboard boxes. And since it's recyclable, <laughs> it's highly Oh my god. In addition, it's strong and easy to store. That's why it's widely used for packing. But to avoid damaging <laughs> and other delicate instruments when shipping them, they should be packed in stronger boxes like wood or something. Also, the crevices <laughs> should be filled with styrofoam to prevent them from moving around. So, anyway, what's with the box? Oh, nothing. No big deal. <laughs> what the hell? You caught Snake? In my parents' homeland, they say, if there are more wolves, the people are eaten. If there are more people, the wolves are eaten. That means the side with the greater numbers is usually the winner. You're badly outnumbered, Snake. Try not to let them see you. Thank you. Snake, that floor is designed so that your footsteps echo. Listen, Snake, <laughs> there's a way to walk so your footsteps won't be heard. I call it stalking. Here's how you do it. First, put your weight on the opposite foot that you're going to step with. Then, take a step so that your heel makes contact with the ground first. Then, as you slowly lower the tip of your foot to the floor, gradually shift your weight onto that foot. Use your knees to maintain the subtle balance. Try it. I... I can't do it. <laughs> what? Ways to wear your socks over your shoes. If you crawl on your stomach, you won't make any noise either. Snake, if you walk on that floor normally, it'll make a lot of noise and the enemy will hear you. Try crawling. Okay, thank you everyone. I will do just that. This floor has a lot of dialogue. <laughs> no use? Because I'm too close to the wall. Uh oh. work when it's red. suspicious here. <coughs> nope. Okay, here. How about on here? What have you 
you got there? A cardboard box? Yeah, remember that trick? That's the snake I remember. Those poor fools won't know what hit them. Those poor fools won't know what hit them. Where is she going? That's a good question. going this door opened am i supposed to go upstairs <laughs> like i've been going upstairs this whole time i don't know if i was supposed to <laughs> there's loot oh i'm going up hey this is what she meant by you don't have to go and get everything sometimes it's better not to <laughs> Okay, if I stand like in the corn, not in the corner. Okay, so why am I whispering? So if I go, uh oh. meant to do now I'm not in his way right <clears throat> ready.
to get up there? <laughs> There's so many of them. Snake, I unlocked the cargo. <laughs> There's more? Never give up. Okay. That Karakoso never give up. Get the what first? Is there something downstairs that I'm missing? No. Oh. Top right. Like this way? Did I just kill him? It'll set off an alert. I don't. Where is the door that I'm trying to get to? Is it that one? It comes back. The one in the back near the camera, right? he can hear. You know what? Fuck you! <clears throat> Did I kill you? Yeah, let me in! Easy. <laughs> can use it to heal? Press A. flashing red on my screen save time you're right what is it snake save time nobody will nobody will notice if there is nobody to notice so true say cautiously we probably won't make a big mistake Use of the mission, don't use your- don't lose your concentration. I'm sorry, girl, I pressed A by accident. I think 
leaving will be easier than getting in. Oh! <clears throat> Once he gets down, I'll know how to leave. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. <laughs> what? I meant it. I meant it. I really did mean it when I said it in the moment. It's just that I was getting... I was getting fucked up by the... You know. Ugh, I'm sorry! Let me this. The wall! The wall! <laughs> the wall! Was giving me a, a, a. The wall! The wall! The wall was making me hide a little bit when I didn't want to be hiding! And I didn't know what to do there! I was trying not to hide, but I had no choice but to hide! <laughs> hold... I don't get what you mean by that. Like, I hold the button, but it doesn't shoot. Like, it doesn't spray. Why are we starting here again? How do I load... Save data in the middle of here. Saves our checkpoints. Oh! Cool. <coughs> I see. After black screen. Okay. Check if I have the mind detector. What's this? Oh, the box. Nope. Just give up on it for now. <laughs> There's a silencer? Where? Oh, this is where I'm supposed to go. You gotta keep mashing. Oh. You need to spam the grab button. Okay. Where am I? Oh. My new checkpoint. Okay. Oh, wait! <laughs> I'm sorry, I tickled his foot. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry for tickling your toes. <laughs> I'm just trying to practice choking you out, buddy.
Like that? Damn. <laughs> The silencer, or is it just automatic? Equip and items merge. Did I pick it up? It's on. Look at the gun icon. Where? thing at the front the little yeah oh maybe i just thought the front of the gun oh it's so silent now yay should i go back up Wait, what if I just... Wait, if I choke the guy out on the second floor, do you think he'll be like... <clears throat> what if I choke him out? Oh, 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 oh! Well, everyone here. Yeah. <laughs> No, they won't. Seriously. Use the elevator first to save. <gasps> really? Is loud floor. So I can shoot him now? Wait, but I have to shoot him quick then, right? Two shots, he dies. Double tap. <laughs> so easy, oh yeah. <laughs> So easy. <laughs> Just mag dump him. <laughs> You'll never see it coming. Okay, wait for him to turn around then. And then I'll stand up behind him and whoop -a! Shoot, but like, like whoop -a, but like with a gun. This path is different from before. Can aim in first person? How? Uh-oh. No, 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 no,
one in here. <laughs> All according to my plan. Supposed to go below it. I know. It's just, it's just like Xenoblade. <laughs> You're right. Where am I going? I'm just looking around. Nothing special up here. No way. Wow. -y. They back outside. Oh, but now when I go back, there's gonna be a guy. <coughs> back at it with the vents. I'm sus. Can kill him though, right? What's that? How am I looking? Can you only have two at a time? So like I might as well use it? Oh, I'm full. Or can I just not take it while I'm laying down? How do I get down? What is it again? Oh. Whee! How do I get past the blind spot? Oh god, I'm so fucked. No, no, the wall! the box and I just walk past the camera well the camera no it's just a camera right like <laughs> in this guy's way. 
How do I get out? Fuck you, idiot. They'll never know. Wait, I don't... I have no ammo! I my aim! I'm ready. No way! What am I shooting at? Ow! You fucking got me! So good! I'm ready for the third. I mean the fourth. I only lost all of my ammo. <laughs> I'm... Oh, I was about to say I should just go back upstairs <laughs> because there's one inside the ladder. But if I go back, they're gonna respawn. <laughs> They're gonna respawn if I go back up. And it's not worth it. Well, guys. <coughs> I did it. I got all the loot. <laughs> That's what matters, right? Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm saving. I don't know if I should save. <laughs> this of all things. sensors you probably can't see them with your naked eyes but there are infrared beams coming out of that wall touch any one of them and the doors will seal off and the place will be flooded with poison gas what somehow you've got to get through without setting off those sensors Saved for me. <laughs> I didn't even need to do anything. It already it saved it for me. I didn't even do anything. <clears throat> Be careful, Snake. That airlock is set with infrared sensors. Okay, we're good. You probably can't see them with your naked eyes, but there are infrared beams coming out of that wall. <coughs> Touch any one of them, and the doors will seal off, and the place will be flooded with poison gas. Somehow you've got Am to I gonna have enough HP? Sensors. Well, 
I don't see any of them. Oh. What if I'm too slow? Like... <laughs> His ass is just too fat. <laughs> okay, I should not crawl through this far. I thought I had to crawl, but I should just wait for it to be above my head. That room is set with infrared sensors. There's not you even Meryl calling me anymore. Cigarette smoke. Uh, cigarette smoke okay. <laughs> Sorry, but these are smokeless cigarettes. What? You mean those cigarettes that are designed to cut down on secondhand smoke? Oh, well, don't worry. If you blow the smoke in the direction of the infrared sensors, you should be able to see them. That was How a good idea that? of bringing the cigarettes, but uh, don't smoke too much. Cigarettes make you weak in mind and body. They are bad for you. How do you blow the smoke? I'm gonna die. <laughs> Wee! <sighs> I'm outside. What? I'm outside. Snake, be careful. There are claymore mines around there. What? Use a mind detector. Who are you? Just call me Deep Throat. <laughs> Deep Throat? What? The informant from the Watergate scandal? Never mind about that. You're not using burst transmission. Are you nearby? Listen, there's a tank in front of your position waiting to ambush you. Who are you anyway? Tank? One of your fans. Oh my god, yeah. Wait, do I have the mind detector? Oh, I do. Mine D. When equipped, very mines show up on radar screen. <clears throat> is that a mine or is that a person? <laughs> you good? <laughs> have to crawl. <laughs> I didn't know. Snake, be careful. There are claymore mines around there. Use a mine detector. Who are you? Just call me Deep Throat. Deep Throat? <laughs> the informant from the Watergate scandal? Never mind about that. You're not using burst transmission. Are you nearby? Listen, there's a tank in front of your position waiting to ambush you. Who are you anyway? You don't have One to crawl. Of your Oh, do I just walk? Just go. <laughs> just go away. Crawl over them to pick them up? What? <laughs> just go. I can't crawl. <clears throat> <gasps> what? That's so cool. Ugh. I guess I don't have to crawl here. I can run over here. Crawl here. <gasps> the tank. 
Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm just so dead. This is Raven's territory. What? Snakes don't belong in Alaska. <laughs> I will not let you pass. Snakes don't Send belong in Alaska. Holy shit, I only have a sliver of health! Damn, he's so cool. <laughs> Me. <laughs> That's right, you belong on the ground. You should crawl on the ground like the snake you are. <laughs> This guy's spinning fire. <laughs> Come, let's fight. Wait. <laughs> Here to laugh at me. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Hello? Snake, be oh, careful. Oh, right. Yes, I totally forgot about this part. I thought it was going to start at the beginning of the fight, to be honest. <laughs> Jesus. <coughs> you can do it, Snake. Whew. Snake can do it. Let's see, Snake. You can crawl in the yellow part, too? <coughs> oh, I just assumed I could not. What's this? I was there before! Oops. I just assumed it spawned... ...in the battle. Over here? <laughs> Nothing. What if I go along the edge? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I want to hear this guy's speech again. <laughs> Snakes don't belong in Alaska. I will not let you pass. Send him a message. I know that one. That quote, snakes don't belong in Alaska. Because Pomu That's told right. me about you it and how it's ground. a band as well you as a Metal Gear on quote. The ground like the snake you are. <laughs> Come, let's fight. Wait! 
She said use your gun? <clears throat> um, help! I only have 29! <clears throat> oh, she definitely didn't. Well, that's good, because I only have nothing. Hey. Closer. I'm sorry. <laughs> My eyes. Wait, do I have to wave? No, I don't. Awesome. Did someone just jump out? See how you like this. What was that? I'm under the tank! I'm under the tank. This guy's got a gun. I'm gonna die to it. Blow up! Ow! I'm under the Do I got anything else? <laughs> no. <laughs> I got this. Yeah. <laughs> Did that do anything? No. At least you can't. <laughs> hey. Don't do that. They drop stuff on the ground for me. No. <laughs> <laughs> Ammo top right. Oh shit. <laughs> More tits. <coughs> Should I just go back inside once and then? After this cutscene? You're doing great! Thank you! <coughs> that was really fun. <coughs> Didn't you call her to save? Well, I'm confused. Like... Does it matter if I save or not in this game? I'm pretty confused. <clears throat> Do I need the key card? Oh, I see. Does not. Okay. So if I save here, and then I go back out... <laughs> and I don't have to see the cutscene again next time, right? That's helpful. Yeah, maybe it'll reload <laughs> another health bag. More HP! <laughs> <laughs> Darn. <laughs> <clears throat> so 
<laughs> Snakes don't belong in Alaska. <clears throat> I have a grenade. Oh, I do. Should I have picked up that call? Where is it? Wow! Oops. Oh! No. Wow! My aim. Help. Okay! She was pretty good. Okay! I'm back out! See how you like this. Or no. I don't like it. <laughs> ow, 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 ow! Hey, he ran me over. Oh, again. Ah, <laughs> Oh, key card. Awesome! Hey boss, I hope you are happy. He got the card. What? We'll play with him a little longer. You would be wise not to underestimate him. What did you think of him? He is just as you said. In battle, he is as if possessed by a demon. Thank you. Much like you, I would expect no less. See? I told you so. But I will kill you. So, General Ivan, I hear he took your hand as well as your dignity. Watch your tongue, shaman. In the language of the Sioux people, Sioux means snake. It is known as an animal to be feared. <coughs> well, snake is mine now. When I meet him next, I'll take special care of him. Not yet. Don't kill him yet. Damn. He and I will Again in battle. Same prediction as always. Yes, the raven on my head. It thirsts for his blood. What the heck? <clears throat> Snake is his, all right. Oh man, yowie. <laughs> what? <laughs> Go back for loot? Like, outside? He's not. Yay! Oh, I should put this thing on. Oh. Can I get in? Guess not. Oh! Grenade. 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 Yay! Oh! I can have three now! Wait, should I have done that? <laughs> health no it's another inside on the walkway like inside here the game wouldn't have let me eat it if i was full hp there's no way <clears throat> you had 99 percent health at least but now i have a hundred
see. All good. All good, guys. <laughs> what is this? Whoa! Guys, are in oh god, there's so much shit in there. Eat that one, too? Oh, <laughs> don't. Don't say that. I'll do it. <laughs> Where am I going here? This looks like a door. Oh, am I supposed to crawl under here? Yes. <clears throat> oh my god, that scared me. Be careful. You absolutely must not use weapons in that area. What? I've already programmed the nano machine so that he won't be able to, Colonel. What? What? What are you talking about? Have you forgotten? That's where they keep the nuclear warheads. Don't you see them? Yeah, there's lots of boxes piled up here, but are they all warheads? Yes, they're all dismantled warheads. They just leave them here? It's like President Baker said, totally careless. They're working on a limited budget. They try to put on a pretty face for the media, but this is the grim reality of it. Nastasha knows lots more about it than I do. All of the warheads in those boxes have had their detonation mechanisms removed, so there's no fear of them exploding. Oh. But if the warheads are broken, they might leak plutonium, and that would be a serious problem. Oh. Snake, never use your weapon on that floor. Oh. Snake, that is a nuclear warhead storage area. Are all these filled with nuclear warheads? Yes, but I was like, they can't stop me. So I don't have to worry about this island turning into a pile of smoking <clears> rubble. <throat> no, but if the casing is damaged, they may casing? be leaking nuclear materials. Oh, casing. Please. Make sure you do not use your gun around there. I gotta pee so bad. What's going on with my bladder today? I'll be right back. It's pee Oh god. Oh god. I'm back. <laughs> what is it, Snake? Deep throat. Welcome back. Thank you. Did I wash my hands? In my parents' homeland. They nah, I raw dogged it just like wolves, that guy that we saw. If there are more people, the wolves are eating. <clears throat> that means the side with the greater no numbers flush. is usually the winner. You're badly outnumbered, Snake. No Try flush. Not to let them see no you. wash my hands. <coughs> I kept my pants on. <laughs> yeah, just like him. I'm really getting into the Metal Gear mood, you know? Is this another, like, loud footsteps? Ooh! Oh! oh my god, that was really close.
Yes, for the immersion. <gasps> Don't come this way. Don't you fucking do it. Don't you dare. Yes. No. Oh my god. No. Oh my god, there's a guy up there. <clears throat> oh right, I can't shoot. Fuck! How do I- how do I get up- <coughs> How do I get up there then? Oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> <clears throat> That's so funny. You can only see through the handle. <laughs> Does that guy leave the room? Oh shit, he does. No, he's gone in the other room. Pee time. <coughs> I've never seen a urinal before. Stall. right beside him and he did not care. 
<laughs> the urinal killer? Don't call me that. <laughs> no! Oh god. He came back to life! <coughs> He's going back to the bathroom already. He's fine. Shoot again. It's just that one room downstairs. Boop boop. Boop boop. Oi. Missile. <laughs> what? <coughs> That's crazy. urinal killer. No, that's not me. Am I supposed to go back down stairs? Check under the desk. Oh, okay. So smart. <coughs> oh! I don't think he wants to leave. I think he's in love with me. <clears throat> Snake, you've got to rescue Dr. Emmerich, the Metal Gear engineer. He's probably being held prisoner in the second floor basement oh, of the right. storage building. Right, 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 right. B2, not B1. <coughs> oh, now you leave? Motherfucker! <laughs> oh, PP. going on. Danger. Watch out! That place is filled with gas. Also, the floor is electrified. First, destroy the high voltage switch. It's the switchboard on the northwest wall. But how? I can't reach it. Use a remote controlled missile. Wow. 
Well, that's a little crazy. <coughs> what? <clears throat> how how do I know where it is? Northwest. I just <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> what? <clears throat> oh. That's not it. Oh no, I only get so many tries. <laughs> Thank you. You're gonna pass out. So close? Oh, okay, okay. I'm going the right way. Just to go through that. Ooh. Not the computer! still electrical maybe not the floor is safe Like they were cut by some type of blade. The ninja! Should I? Should I go back and look if there's like ammo and stuff in the last room? Snake, you can't use the radar because something's jamming. Right, I'm sorry, girl. And whatever's <coughs> doing it is very close to you. Be careful. Oh, wait. I can still save it. Be careful, Snake. Go back later? <laughs> Do I have ammo? I have some stuff. Yeah, spooky scary! It's... What? Oh no. What is going on? <gasps> what the fuck? Wait, his blade is also invisible? Yeah, what the hell?
What is this flashing orange thing? Does it just mean that he's still alive? <laughs> I'm scared. Time. Oh, no! Stealth camouflage. Who are you? Where is my friend? What? What are you talking about? Oh, what next? <laughs> Snake. You're that ninja. I've been waiting for you, Snake. Who are you? <laughs> Neither enemy nor friend. I am back from the world with Cyborg such words ninja. I've removed all obstacles. Now you and I will battle to the death. Oh God. What do you want? I've waited a long time for this day. Now I want to enjoy the moment. What's with these guys? <laughs> it's like one of my Japanese <laughs> enemies. I've come from another world to battle with you. What is it, revenge? It is nothing so trivial as revenge. <laughs> A fight to the death with you. Only in that can my soul find respect. So imagine. I will kill you. <laughs> or you will kill me. It makes no difference. No! from inside there i need that man keep your hands off him <laughs> okay now make me feel it make me feel alive again <laughs> yes hurt me snake <laughs> what do i do i only have i guess wow oh my god jesus Um, he blocked it. Ow, holy shit. Oh. He's so fast. Ooh. Oh my god, he's so fast. Ah! And he goes through the sky. Game, are you telling me something? my last item. That's so cool! Save them? Oh, guys. I'm gonna... Oh, you! I'm gonna die! <laughs> <laughs> this is a ninja. Oh, he's 
smiling on me. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. <laughs> He's scaring me so bad. Oh, there's a HP there. Go. That's good sneak. Hurry up and catch me. What? But he's invisible. But I can hear him. Oh, Jesus. Listening for audio cues. Like old times. I've been waiting for this day. Oh God. Left side. No, oh, hey, Jesus! Oh my God! Oh my God, he's so fast. styling on me. <laughs> forget what the strat was. Oh yeah, I like... <laughs> what was that sound effect? <coughs> oh god. Okay, wait. Let me grab this first, please. Thank you. Just... Just punch him. Ow! 
Oh, Jesus! What? Ow! Fuck! <laughs> okay, do a flip. And then punch. What is this? Oh, bullets. Do a flip. Fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh my god! Ow! Ow! Oh my god! How did I? Do, how, how did I do so good last time? What? <laughs> <laughs> this was my corner. Okay, I guess it's not my corner. <laughs> it's not my corner at all anymore! <laughs> and this was my corner. <laughs> Got this. It's now, just like make me feel the Japanese make anime. Me feel alive again. I'm stuck. Just like Japanese anime. Oh my god! <laughs> Bye. <clears throat> oh. Oh. You can still attack after a charged attack? That's crazy. <laughs> little moves. What? <laughs> he kind of looks like Heatran. The color scheme. Get along. <clears throat> oh, shit. Eat this motherfucker. Fuck you. Why 
Why does he have such long legs? Fan service? True. Fuck. Okay, audio cues. Okay. Come here. two times, right? done talking so fast this time. Snake. 
can't be. What? You were killed in Zanzibar. Zanzibar? <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. Holy shit! Not again. What? What's happening? It's Gray Fox. No doubt about it. Ridiculous. You of all people should know he died in Zanzibar. No. Gray Fox? He should have died, but he didn't. What? It happened before I joined Foxhound's medical staff. They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. I never heard that. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Clark, was in charge. Dr. Clark? Yes. He started the gene therapy project. And where is he now? He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. So what about this soldier? Apparently, for their test subject, they decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar. And that was Gray Fox. But he was already dead. Yes. But they revived him. They fitted him with the prototype exoskeleton and kept him drugged for four years while they experimented on him like a plaything. Today's genome soldiers were born from those experiments. That's the sickest thing I ever heard. They used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Because it's confidential information. What the Is fuck? that the only reason? Naomi, what happened to Gray Fox after that? The record says he died in the explosion. I see. But even if that ninja is Gray Fox, the question is, why? From what I could tell, he didn't know who he was. Are you saying that he's just a mindless robot? I'm not sure, but he seems intent mm. on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again. I know it. So you'll fight again? Until you kill him? Huh. I'd rather not. But maybe that's what he wants. <laughs> How long are you gonna stay in there? Huh? Are you one of them? No, I'm not. I always work alone. Alone? Are you an otaku too? <laughs> Come on, get out. We can't stay no here. No way! <laughs> You're the Metal Gear Chief Engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? You know me? I heard about you from Merrill. Oh, so you're here to rescue me. Sorry, but no. There's something that I've got to do first. <laughs> oh, well, at least you're not one of them. Oh no, he's limping. Uh, are you hurt? Oh, I'm okay. I just twisted my ankle a little bit trying to get away. Well, if that's all, it's nothing to worry about. I want to ask you something. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Yeah. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. Fire! I already know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear-equipped walking deathmobile. Nuclear? W what are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't oh my know? God. They're gonna put a dismantled warhead into Metal Gear's <laughs> TNT <laughs> missile module? Wrong. From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise <laughs> was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using oh. a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. No, you're wrong. I heard it directly from your boss, Baker. 
No. A nuclear missile on Rex? <laughs> so you really didn't Sorry. Know. <laughs> but no. in Xenoblade well, context, the armament was built by a separate that's fucking crazy. And the president personally supervised <laughs> the final assembly of the Rex? new unit. President Baker? <laughs> yeah. I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. I, I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a railgun. A railgun, you said? Yeah. It uses magnets to fire bullets at extremely high velocities. The technology was originally developed for the SDI system and, and later scrapped. We were successful in miniaturizing it in a joint venture between Arms Tech and Rivermore National Labs. The railgun is on Rex's right arm. Metal Gear's main <laughs> function is to launch oh, nuclear missiles. Wait, you sure what? you're not forgetting something? It's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on his back that can carry up to eight missiles, but are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? Yeah, but that's not all I think. If Metal Gear yeah, fired only standard nuclear missiles, up on there then they should already surprise. have all the practical data they need. No. Could it be? Metal Gear's co-developer, Rivermore National Labs, was working on a new type of nuclear weapon. The little sassy. They were using Nova and NIF laser nuclear fusion <laughs> testing equipment and Sitting supercomputers. There. So they developed a new type Lucky of nuclear keyboard, weapon in the VR Steve. testing lab, huh? <laughs> yes, but you can't use virtual data on a battlefield. They would need actual launch data. These are some of the supercomputers. If you link these, you can test everything in a virtual environment. But it's all just theoretical. So this exercise was designed to test the real thing. What did our president do? If the terrorists launch that thing... <sighs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. No! I'm such a fool. It's all my fault. No! The truth is... My grandfather was part of the Manhattan Project. He suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. And my father, he was born on August 6th, 1945. The day of the Hiroshima bomb. God's got a sense of humor, all right. Three generations of Emmerich men. We must have the curse of nuclear weapons written into our DNA. I'm so sad. I used to think that I could use science to help mankind. But the one that wound up getting used was me. Using science to help mankind. It's just in the movies. <laughs> That's enough crying. Pull yourself together. Where is Metal Gear? Where on this base are they keeping it? How does it keep getting back Rex and forth? Rex is the underground between. maintenance base. <laughs> Where is that? North of the communications tower, but it's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there too. Yeah, in the maintenance base control room. You'd better hurry. If they were planning a launch from the start, then their ballistic cut program scenes. is probably My finished. bad. And since they haven't called for me in a few hours, they must not need me. In other words, they must be ready to launch. Meryl's got the detonation code override keys. We'll link up with her. If we can't override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex. No! I'll show you the way. On that leg of yours, you'll just slow me down. You'll need me if you're gonna destroy Rex. I don't need you. I just need your brain. <laughs> I created Rex. It's my right, my duty to destroy him. If you get a chance, try to escape. When the coast is clear, I'll contact you by codec. How am I supposed to escape from an island? Uh, okay. <laughs> so what then? I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? Of course I do. And don't worry, I've got this. Oh, shit! It's the same stealth technology as the ninja. 
Foxhound was going to use them, but with this I'll be fine. Bad leg and all. Good. But I want Meryl to watch after you too. Meryl, the engineer's okay. That's a relief. I want you to look it after looks him. Like I'm Where are you now? Very close. There she is! Over there! <gasps> oh no! Damn, they've spotted me! <gasps> what? what happened? Something's wrong. Did you hear something? Wasn't that some kind of music? What? What did she look like? She... She was wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. My eyes. A disguise? She had such a cute way of walking. She <laughs> wiggles her behind. What? You were really looking. Well, she's got a very cute behind. <laughs> way of walking, huh? <laughs> if she's disguised as the enemy, you'll have to contact her when she's alone, huh? There's only one place where we can be <laughs> sure she's by herself. Where's that? Don't be so dense. Here, use this security card. Level four? It's security level four. Yay! You're not in pain, are you? Huh? You feel okay? Nothing bothering you? What's wrong? Getting all friendly all of a sudden. No, nothing. I'm glad you're okay. <laughs> you're strange. I'm a little nervous. Everyone else I've saved suddenly dies. You're bad luck. <laughs> <Forget> <laughs> it, Call me Otacon. Otacon? It stands for Otaku Convention. <laughs> and Otaku's a guy like me who likes Japan animation. <laughs> Japan was the first country to successfully make bipedal <laughs> robots. Again. They're still the best in the field of robotics. <laughs> Whoa. The Japanese cartoons Anime. played some part in that. They did. I didn't get into science to make nuclear weapons, you know. That's what all scientists say. I became a scientist because I wanted to make robots like the ones in the Japanese animes. <laughs> really, it's true. <laughs> Just sounds like a childish excuse to me. You're right. We have to take responsibility. <laughs> Science has always thrived on war. Greatest weapons of mass destruction were created by scientists who wanted to be famous. But that's all over now. I won't take part in murder anymore. Whatever. All I want from you is information. Sure. I know everything about this whole base. Ask me anything about Rex or about this place. Also, with this stealth camouflage, I can sneak in and out of the armory and mess hall. If you need ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. Oh. I'm on frequency 141.12. See you later. He can run? Register him. One four one one two. You still haven't found Merrill? Snake, the warhead storage building that you're in has one floor above ground and two floors below ground. Why don't you search there too? I did not think about what he said at all. Did not listen to a single thing you just said. Call him again. Snake, the warhead storage building that you're in has one floor above ground and two floors below ground. Why don't you search there too? Okay. He looks so scrungly. Well, it looks like you've rescued Emmerich for the time being. Yeah, with that stealth camouflage, he should be able to hide safely. Gray Fox. I can't believe it. But the real problem is your niece. 
The way the codec got cut off like that has me worried. Something must have happened to her. You're worried about Mara? Not exactly. It's just that she's holding the detonation code override keys. They're our last chance of stopping that nuclear launch. You're a cold man. Your mission is more important than the life of your companions? This is war. Survival is the name Damn. of the game. Sometimes you have to be cold to survive. Yes, but... Snake, either way, I want you to find Meryl as soon as possible. I understand. I'll find her when you tell me everything that you're not telling me. Snake, there's an old Chinese saying. A scholar who cherishes the love of comfort is not fit to be deemed a scholar. Einstein said it another way. He said that only a life lived for others is worth living. <laughs> That's why I entered MIT instead of Princeton or Vassa like my friends. I wanted to do applied physics, not just a theoretical stuff. I wanted to make things for people. The Soliton radar system or the Codex system. I just wanted to make something that would be useful for people. She's so I cute. I think that it was the same for Dr. Emmerich too. But he was used like a tool. He used to make a horrible killing machine. Maybe it would be better if engineers like us just stop making things. I don't know. Oh no! <laughs> he doesn't say a single thing. People who have been through war and survived develop a kind of sixth sense to warn them of danger. Trust your instincts as a soldier, <laughs> as a gamer. <laughs> Thank you. Otacon said that now it's possible to design and test new types of nuclear weapons I'm a in a gamer. virtual simulation <laughs> without ever exploding a nuclear device. Is that true? Yes, it is true. Since the establishment of Dart and Neef early in the 21st century, there has been a wealth of data concerning nuclear fission and fusion. There is also much data accumulated from the nuclear tests conducted over the last four decades. With the processing speed of today's supercomputers, they can design a new nuclear weapon through virtual reality computer simulations. Yar. No! Probably gonna say the same thing. Snake. The Warhead storage building that you're in has one floor above ground and two floors below ground. Why don't you search there too? Okay, I'll search there too. Oh, that's a dead body. Room, I guess. Breathe. You're so right. Oh, 
Level six. I can't see. Level three. What's over here? Oh. <clears throat> I see. Ah, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> <laughs> what go again breathing now I keep forgetting that like this is just whatever like I don't have to aim directly We're good. <clears throat> Claymore. Hmm. Save time. Oh, my God, true. Ugh. You got the night vision goggles. I did? What is it, Snake? That was the last thing you got? Oh no, I always wanted to become a fighter pilot. Fell in love with jets watching them in the movies. Why do so many people say the same thing? Didn't want to kill people. That's when I heard that the US Air Force needed people to do BDA's battle damage assessments. Those are the guys whose job it is to confirm how successful a bombing run was. Yeah, so I started to do research into aerial photography and air intelligence. I made it my major. No pilots who only do BDAs. That's right. By the time I learned that, I was already an expert in my field. Oh. Where did 
they want me to go again? Upstairs, one floor. Didn't Meryl say that she's somewhere close <clears throat> by? Why don't you start by searching in that building? Oh, okay. Sir, yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. The potty. What if? What if? What if? I call her. I'm outside the bathroom. Damn. <laughs> Go inside? Ow. What was that sound? Go in there. <clears throat> you have to look at butts. Oh, my God. Stop. That's the second time I've been able to sneak up on the legendary Solid Snake. You're Meryl? There's no way you could pass for a man for long. What do you mean? Hey, men aren't allowed in here. I had no idea you were so feminine. <laughs> this is no time What's to try to on? the snake. Besides, it's a waste of time. When I joined up, they gave me psychotherapy to destroy my interest in men. Same smart mouth. You're Meryl, all right. Are you hurt? Not yet. After all, I was disguised as a genome soldier. So why'd you change? You'd be a lot better off dressed like one of them. I got tired of disguising myself. Nipple. The truth is, the uniform smelled like blood. What's that mark? Huh? Oh, this? It's a paint tattoo. It's not real. I was a fan of Foxhound way back, when guys like you and my uncle were in it. None of that gene therapy like there is today. You guys were real heroes. There are no heroes in war. All the heroes I know are either dead or in prison. One or the other. But Snake, you're a hero, aren't you? I'm just a man who's good at what he does. Killing. Damn. There's no winning or losing for a mercenary. The only winners in war are the people. That's right, and you fight for the people. I've never fought for anyone but myself. I've got no purpose in life. No ultimate goal. Come on. It's only when I'm cheating death on the battlefield. The only time I feel truly alive. Seeing other people die makes you feel alive, huh? You love war and don't want it to stop? Is it the same with all great soldiers throughout history? Why didn't you contact me? My codec was broken. Is that all? Shouldn't you just be happy we met up like this? How did you recognize me in disguise? I never forget a lady. <laughs> so there's something you like about me, huh? Yeah, you've got a great butt. Oh, I see. First it's my eyes, now it's my butt. And what's next? On the battlefield, <laughs> you never think about what's next. What the fuck? <laughs> so Snake, how are the negotiations going? No progress. 
So it's all up to you, huh? Somebody's got to stop them from launching a nuclear missile. There are two ways. Either we destroy Metal Gear or... We override the detonation code. You got the card keys from Baker? Card keys? You mean this? Where are the others? There should be three keys. This is all I've got. Where could the other two be? I have no idea, but they must be somewhere. If we can't find them, we'll have no choice but to destroy Metal Gear. Metal Gear is in an underground maintenance base to the north. Take me too. I know this place better than you do. You'll just slow me down. You don't have enough battle experience. I won't slow you down. I promise. And what if you do? Then you can shoot me. <gasps> I don't like to waste bullets. Damn! Got it. I'll be careful. Booty. You know, I don't use makeup the way other women do. I hardly ever look at myself in the mirror. I've always despised that kind of woman. I always dreamed of becoming a soldier. But I was wrong. She's not like other girls. It wasn't really my dream. <gasps> my father. He was killed in action when I was younger. You wanted to follow in your father's footsteps? Not really. I thought that if I became a soldier, I could understand him better. So are you a soldier yet? I thought I was until today, but now I understand. The truth is, I was just afraid of looking at myself, afraid of having to make my own decisions in life. But I'm not gonna lie to myself anymore. This is really it's time deep. I took a long, hard look at myself. I wanna know who I am, what I'm capable of. I wanna know why I've lived the way I've lived until now. I want to know. Take a good look. You won't get another chance for a while. You should wash your face, too, while you're at it. Yeah. This isn't a training exercise. Our lives are riding on this. There are no heroes or heroines. If you lose, you're worm food. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Is that bomb is functional? Unfortunately, it's out of ammo. Where did you get that Desert Eagle? I found it in the armory. It's a 50 caliber action Die. express. You're a worm. There was a SOCOM pistol, too, but I chose this. Huh. So I got a leftover, huh? Isn't that gun a little big for a girl? Don't worry, I can handle it. Come on, use my 45. Listen, I've used a gun like this since I was eight years old. It's like a I'm ghost. more comfortable with it than I am with a bra. What? <laughs> I can if we're tell. Go to the north, we'll have to go through the commander's room on this floor. The overland route is blocked by glaciers. Is that a full mag? The room is secured in level her five. shirt. This card will open it. It was inside the pocket of the uniform I was wearing. Looks like he must have been guarding someplace important. Okay, let's go. I know this place better than you. I'll be point man. Follow me. Oh, girl. She's got shoes, socks, the clothes. Oh, shit. It's me. No undies? She's wearing them. That's strange. There's no guard. What happened to the music? I'll keep a lookout. Make sure you're ready, okay? Oh god, this is not a good sign. I found your niece! Colonel, your niece is fine. Thank goodness. We can't relax. Not yet. I know. Stare at her! Snake, she's quite a woman. As commander of this operation, huh? I can't ask you to watch after Meryl, but... Duty first? Maybe I was wrong. Sending my own flesh and blood to war. She understands about duty. I know she does. But what I want to know is, what was the real purpose of this military exercise? I don't know. Like I said, I'm nothing more than a middleman. Is this transmission being monitored by the military? Of course. I get it. All the world's a stage and we're merely players, right? Yes, but even players can influence the play. I just hope we can prevent it from having a bad ending. Stare at her in first person for a while? What? What is it? I 
What are you staring at? Come on, Snake. Don't stare at me like that. <laughs> what are you doing? We've got to get a move on. I'm just looking. What? What is it? What are you staring at? Oh my god, you're right. She is getting redder. I couldn't tell at first, but gee. Come on, Snake. I thought she was trained to not care about men. Don't stare at me like that. She's gonna pop. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? We've got to get a move on. Except for Snake. It's, it's wearing off. <laughs> <laughs> you aren't like other men. Oh. It's a good thing you hooked up with Meryl. What? You should have seen the colonel. He doesn't like to let it show because he's the oh. boss, but he was so happy he could barely contain himself. I'm glad to hear that. You meant meet up again. <laughs> right. <laughs> Talk to you later, Snake. <laughs> She's so cute, Mark. <laughs> You found Meryl. Harasho. Harasho. You managed to link up with Meryl. I love Good. love life. So now you must have the card keys that will override the detonation code. You should hurry. The time limit is running out. Thank God Meryl's okay. She's a tough one, all right. Although when you look at her, it's hard to imagine how tough. It must be the walk. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm glad she's okay. I also got a key from her. I think I can use it to stop them from launching a nuke. Get to Metal Gear's underground maintenance base. That's where the detonation code input system is. Oh, to God. <laughs> He's so girl <laughs> She's here. <coughs> What's that? Anti-anxiety drugs temporarily stops involuntarily involuntary involuntarily trembling. Whoa. Sorry. You'll need it later? Okay. What's this? Cardboard box B. Nuclear warhead storage building is written on it. Cool! Oh, right, sorry. Snake, what are you doing? No. Let's go to the commander's room. I'm sorry. Is that here? Save? I just saved like right before I looted, but I think it'll be fine. I can save right here too. You caught Snake? I mean, I do love to save every three seconds, after all. <laughs> Mei Ling, you said that you wanted to become a pilot. Did you take an aptitude test? 
Well, I've got bad eyes. Probably didn't know it, but I'm wearing contact lenses. So you failed your aptitude test, huh? Yeah. It's ridiculous. We're not flying around in biplanes anymore, you know? That's right. Today's pilots fly jets that go several times the speed of sound. Exactly. At those speeds, the naked eye isn't that useful. You need sophisticated electronics to see what's really going on. So, is that why you developed your radar system? Yeah. I wanted to develop a radar system that would help soldiers make better, more informed decisions. So your radar shows what's really going on, huh? Mm, it depends on how you interpret it. Like beauty, truth is in the eye of the beholder. You can say that again. She's so cute! Girl? Not embarrassed anymore? <laughs> My head! Oh, it hurts! What? What's wrong? Oh, hell Don't no. Don't come here, Snake! <laughs> what? What? Are you okay? Mantis? What happened? Fine. Whoa. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. That's not her walk. Come on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting. What? Oh, I'm playing as... Wait, what? What's happening? Looking at myself. Oh god, Meryl has an HP bar. I'm scared. Herself. Don't use your what? weapon. It's Psycho Mantis. He's controlling Meryl. That tune is his mind control music. Don't use your weapon. Try to knock her out. Uh, okay, Colonel. supposed to shoot the guy behind me? A single thing. Um, oh my I god, her heartbeat was on my I controller. That was so cool. Practitioner of psychokinesis and telepathy in the world. No, there's no need for words, Snake. I'm psychomantis. 
<laughs> That's right. This is no trick. It's true power. It's useless, I told you. I can read your every thought. Now, let me read your mind. No, perhaps I should say your past. You're a careless man, aren't you? And you're a poor warrior as well. Damn. However, you are skillful at eluding traps. Still don't believe me. Now I'll read more deeply into your soul. Ah, I can see into your mind. So, you like Sui Coden. You like Azure Dreams? You like Castle Red? <laughs> Is and this Elf my Elf? safe spot? You like <laughs> You enjoy role playing games. <laughs> I see that you enjoy Konami games. <laughs> For hints, I can call people in the middle of this. That psycho mantis, <laughs> former KGB psychic, he has powerful telepathic abilities. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, he came to of America. Of course, for a that's job. crazy. He worked with the FBI on several cases as a psychic profiler. Five years ago, he was working on a case of a multiple serial murderer. They got too far into the killer's mind. As a result, he became just like the killer. So he was sort of infected by this serial murderer's thoughts? In any case, after that, he became a sort of psychic spy working for the highest bidder. He traveled all around the world. Oh, That's cool. when he was recruited by Foxhound. He can read people's minds. He knows every move that you're going to make. What should I do? I've got no chance of beating him. There must be some way. He's a master at controlling people, Snake. Don't let him manipulate you. Well, that didn't help. <laughs> Psychic soldier, yes. Although they will not admit it, many countries have paranormal programs and use psychics in their special ops. Psychics range in power from those who can bend spoons to those who can cause natural disasters. But Psycho Mantis is one of the most powerful. Be careful. Is there different dialogue? Not everything you see with your two eyes is real. Oh. Destroying his spirit is more important than destroying his body. Don't let him read you. Be a blank slate, okay? Clear your mind. He read your mind with his psychic abilities. Somehow you've got to get around him. Be a blank slate. <laughs> okay, it didn't work. <laughs> Psychic ability to read your controller's moves. That's how he's evading your attack. 
You've got to do something so he can't read your controller's moves. Think, there must be some way. What? <laughs> My controller? Different. Do I just flip my controller upside down? That way, even I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay, that's so hard. <laughs> insane. Oh, oh, oh my god. Ow. Now imagine you're nine and this is the coolest thing ever. <clears throat> this is the coolest thing ever, even now. Imagine you are nine. <laughs> this is still the coolest thing ever. Okay, I wouldn't have thought of that. Just cause... <laughs> I would not have thought of that. If I had looked at the controller config, like, are you joking me? You're just sitting there. You're not even hurting me at the moment. Then maybe. Look at the controller config. That was so. That is so cool. This game is incredible. jump over the table. Crazy. 
yells why. That's what I'm saying. She's so polite. She puts the ow. She puts the chairs back where they belong. Shit, I wanted to reload. I don't know. I think this is a GG. <laughs> I'm getting up. Can swap weapons to reload. Oh. Do we get everything in here? I can't. Nope. Is this a great game? Yeah! That was so crazy. Oh, that was so silly. <laughs> I can't believe he looked at the little... Oh my god, that's so... That's so funny. Just looks at your little memory card. Top left door under desk. Sneak. I think this one. Might have been another one. Maybe it was me. Maybe I already got it. I know I got this one. Okay, I'm a fucking liar. <laughs> it respawns. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for the super chats. Thank you, thank you. <coughs> I don't know. Snake, don't do that. We're going to the commander's room. You got everything. So you fought for Smash Bros. Melee comments on how you like Smash. That's so cool. GameCube. Mantis reads Zelda, Mario, Smash, and more. That's so silly. <laughs> Thank you for the super chats. Thank you. My head. Oh. It... <clears throat> Are you okay? Uh... Come on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> <coughs> He's such a crazy guy. Oh, I have three. <gasps> did I do the thing where Mel turns red? I did! Snake. How do you like me? <gasps> what the? Do you Are these like her me? actual thoughts or is this Call just me. him? Snake. What's wrong? Or is it just him being like, It's Mantis ERP. Snake, Meryl's not herself. Don't use your weapon. It's Psycho Mantis. He's controlling Meryl. That tune is his mind control music. Don't use your weapon. Try to knock her out. Oh. 
Oh, shit. Sorry, girl. Oh my god, I'm choking her out. <laughs> I mean to flip you. Wait, how did I do it before? While running? Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, 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 thank you. <laughs> Useless woman. Up to camouflage, huh? I hope that's not your only trick. Will you say a different game? You, if I put a different one? You doubt my power. <coughs> now, I will show you why Is it I random? am the most powerful practitioner of psychokinesis and telepathy in the world. No, there's no need for words, Snake. I'm Psychomantis! That's right. This is no trick. It's true power. Huh. It's useless, I told you. I can read your every thought. Wow. Now, let me read your mind. No, perhaps I should say your past. You're a careless man, aren't you? And you're a poor warrior as well. <laughs> Damn. However, you are skillful at eluding traps. Wait. Still don't believe Is he telling me that I suck at the game? Now I'll read more deeply into your soul. Ah, I can see <laughs> Castlevania, don't you? <laughs> you like action games. You enjoy role-playing games. That's so funny. I see that you enjoy Konami games. Hmm. You have saved often. Yes, you I have. Person. I can read you like an open book. I'm gonna put it on the table this time. Show you my psychokinetic power. You want to hear Watch it? The controller on the floor. From my Put height, it down right as beside the controller. That's good. Now I will move your controller by the power of my will alone. What do you think now? Can you feel my Nothing power? Nothing happened! A demonstration. He... <laughs> it didn't vibrate. Is it because his controller connected to player two? <laughs> no. Oh Jesus, that scared me so bad. <laughs> I'm. <laughs> Ow. You can't read? So embarrassing. It's so embarrassing to be so close and to miss. Oh, it's so embarrassing. <laughs> oh. Oh. Stay on the ground, even. Wow. Oh my God. Where are 
are you? <laughs> Fucking piece of shit! <laughs> now put them back. to get so close I know but like I, I'm, I can't aim Sure, my aim, you know. Punch him. Oh, you can't read. Ow, my head. Yesterday I had a nightmare. It was really scary. I had a nightmare that I was in uni again. It was terrifying. <laughs> Oh, the horror. I know. Chair, but not that one. Why? Why couldn't I read your mind? <gasps> oh, hell no. Am I supposed to flip her again? Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. What? Um, um, oh god, oh god. What do I do? Oh, so many things that I gotta. Oh, maybe I should stun? 
I don't think she'll take damage, right? If I flip her, what if she pulls the trigger? Oh, oh, oh. oh. Yes! What's happening? Oh my god, she's taking damage. Oh my god, oh my god. No, it cannot be. No. What can't be? You didn't time it? I didn't time what? She shot? Toss her like pizza dough. Yummy. <laughs> what? It's okay because she's done. Meryl, you're a tank. What the hell? Shit, I don't have a gun equipped. Thermal goggles? I don't think I have that. Ooh! An extreme low light. I'm about to burn my eyes out of my head if I use that. Hit him. Oh, I gotta think about. Oh, God. Okay. That worked. Choked. I but only almost. <laughs> Meryl's brainwashing should wear off, right, Naomi? Yes. But why did you go so far out of your way to save her? For Campbell's sake, or maybe it's because you like her? I don't want to see any woman die right in front of me. Oh, really? Since when did anybody's death bother you so much? Naomi, Damn. it's true that Snake what is the hell? people. But that doesn't mean he doesn't have a heart. It's okay, Colonel. She's right. No. Why does she have to say that? Oh, I used the other. I, I wasn't able to read the future. A strong man doesn't need to read the future. He makes his own. Damn. Perhaps so. But I'll read your future. Whoa. To Metal Gear 
this underground maintenance base. You have to go through that hidden door. He's just telling us? There's a hidden door behind the bookcase. The overland route. It's blocked by frozen glaciers. What? Go past the communication towers. And use the tower's walkway. Why are you telling me this? I can read people's minds. In my lifetime, I have read the pasts, presents, and futures of thousands upon She's still not walking, cute. Men and women. Oh, gross. And each mind oh. that I peered into was stuffed with the same single object of obsession. That selfish and atavistic desire to pass on one seed. It was enough to make me sick. Every living thing on this planet exists to mindlessly pass on their DNA. We're designed that way. And that's why there is war. But you... You are different. You're the same as us. We have no past, no future. We live in the moment. That's our only purpose. Humans weren't designed to bring each other happiness. From the moment we're thrown into this world, we're fated to bring each other nothing but pain and misery. Oh my god. The first person whose mind I dove into was my father's. It looks like. I saw nothing but disgust and hatred for me in his heart. Jujutsu Kaisen. My mother died in childbirth. No. And he despised me for it. I thought my father was going to kill me. That's when my future disappeared. I lost my past as well. When I came to, the village was engulfed in flames. Damn. Are you saying that you burned your village down to bury your past? I see that you have suffered the same trauma. <laughs> we are truly the same, you and I. The world is a more interesting place with people like you in it. I never agreed with the boss's revolution. His dreams of world conquest do not interest me. I just wanted an excuse to kill as many people as I could. Jesus. You monster. Let him talk. He doesn't have much time left. I've seen through <laughs> evil. You, Snake. You're just like the boss. Funny you say that. No, you're worse. Oh! Compared to you, I'm not so bad. Damn! I read her mind as well. Meryl's? I saw you there. <gasps> you have a large place in your heart. You... A large place? You guys just met! Yes, a large place. But I do not know if your futures lie together. I have a last request. What is it? My mask. Put it back on. Okay. Like this. Other people's thoughts force their way into my mind. You're right, she was a fan before. Before I die. I want to be by myself. I want to be left alone in my own world. <laughs> Thank you, Psycho Baptist. This is the first time I've ever used my power to help someone. It's strange. It feels good. Good. 
kind of nice. We killed him. No. Let's go, Meryl. He was a bad I'm guy, sorry. but not a bad guy. No. How could I let Mantis control my mind like that? If you're gonna doubt yourself, I'll leave you here. You're right. Never doubt yourself. Just let it make you stronger. Learn something from it. You're right. Yes, he was. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. But like... Snake, can I ask you something? What? About what Mantis said. I was just wondering. What? What's the problem now? Oh, no, nothing. You gotta have so, those straps on his ass, like. What's your name? Your real name. It's kind of Name awesome. means nothing on the battlefield. <laughs> How old are you? Old enough to know what death looks like. Any family? No, but I was raised by many people. Is there anyone you like? I've never been interested in anyone else's life. So you are all alone. Just like Mantis said. Damn. Other people just complicate my life. I don't like to get involved. Damn. You're a sad, lonely man. Damn. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, game. <laughs> the tongues of dying men enforce attention like deep harmony. Snake, people don't normally lie with their dying breath. I think he was telling the truth. Maybe you should believe him. She's so cute. Please, Nick, don't give up. I mean, well, I guess he was a bad guy, but like... But like, it's not his fault he got all messed up. Like, I feel so bad for kids who's like... Like, I feel so bad for kids whose parents like are not the best to them. Growing up, like he... He had so much guilt on his plate because his mother died giving birth to him and his dad hated him for that. Like, that's so sad. And then he killed everyone <laughs> in his village. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ewen. Happy birthday to you. You! Thank you so much for the super chat! Thank you, thank you, thank you! I hope you have an awesome, 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 awesome birthday today. Thank you so much! And thank you, Lotus, for super chatting for your friend. That's so sweet. Thank you. It doesn't excuse it? Oh, no. It does not. You know, but like, if he had he had like the power to be able to read what his dad was thinking, and like it kind of sucks when you can read like how your dad's true feelings are about you, because then everything about you feels fake. It looks like Meryl's okay. Everything That's around you is fake. Like no matter what kind of friend. Snake. There's no time left. Anyone puts up You've around you if you know the truth, the then base. you should be able to go north from the commander's room. The sucky. It is so ironic. People are working as slaves to pay for weapons that must never be used. Weapons that target the people themselves. It is madness. But he was also silly. Like, he made my controller move on the ground. Like, <laughs> I gotta give him a pass. <laughs> Psycho Mantis. 
What a pathetic man. Oh! He was born with all the right tools, but he never knew how to use them. <laughs> I don't think you in this super chat. Thank you. I like how his, like, Psycho Mantis. <laughs> I like how his idea of, like, taking over a woman and <laughs> trying to, like, convince a man that he was her was by being like, please have sex with me. <laughs> like, <laughs> he knows nothing about the real world. And he was like, damn it, it didn't work! <laughs> a psychic soldier. What a waste. I guess fighting was all he ever knew. Are you feeling sorry for him? Mantis had incredible power. Fantastic power. Maybe that power could have been used to make people you happy. You don't like women? It's a sad thing when you see all that power being used just for war. Please address the Akechi comments. I have nothing to say. Me turning away from the paparazzi. I should stop for today. Oh. Could there be wolves in there? Wolf dogs. Half wolf, half husky. How do you Keep know going. so much? Finish the game. I ride dog stop. sleds. <laughs> I'm a musher. I'll take point. Snake, you follow me. Whenever you feel like. He's a what? He's a musher. This part is long and annoying. This part isn't long. This part or after this part is good. She's gone. It's only been five hours. It's almost been six. <laughs> to YouTube it's been one day now that that's crazy where did she go like the snake that you are. Oh! 
there always evil dogs in video games? Why is there always evil dogs in video games? Why does they have to be evil dogs? They're just hungry. <laughs> they fighting dogs. Oh. But they're a stun grenade. Evil white dog. I know. <laughs> Why not use gun? I don't want to shoot a dog. Snake, what's wrong? I thought you were good with dogs. <laughs> I wish I could pet the dog. Hi. What? What is it? <laughs> Nothing. This place is mine. I'll take point again. Stay back, okay? But the radar is working. And since we can't use the mine detector either... Leave it to me. Okay. How does she know? Pretty good, huh? How did you know where the mines were? It sounds weird, but when Mantis dove into my mind, I was able to see where the mines were placed. Are you impressed? Well, a little bit. Only a little? Oh, shit. Wait, what? Get up. <laughs> oh, I don't want to fight the dogs again. Yes. Oh, no. Careful. Careful.
Watch your step. Sniped. Meryl. What is it? Meryl, hey! Get down. Uh, Meryl. Uh, 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 what? Snake, you better not leave her. Meryl! Damn. Snake, it's a trap. A sniper's trick to lure you out. The sniper's waiting for you to go and help Meryl, so he can pick you off. Don't do it. Must be Sniper Wolf, Foxhound's best shooter. Snipers usually work in pairs, but this one's alone, huh? I know her. She can wait for hours, days, or weeks. It doesn't matter to her. Damn. She's just watching and waiting for you to expose yourself. Maybe so, but Meryl can't hold out that long. Snake, can you see Wolf from where you are? There's nowhere to hide between here and the tower. She must be on the second floor of the tower. If Wolf is in the communications tower, she can see you perfectly. It's the classic sniper's position. At that distance, you won't be able to hit her with a standard weapon either. You'll need a sniper rifle. Colonel, take it easy. <sighs> I'm gonna save Meryl, no matter what it takes. Um. Okay. Thanks. What's wrong, Naomi? Nothing. I'm just surprised you're willing to sacrifice yourself. You got the genes of a soldier, not a savior. You trying to say that I'm only interested in saving my own skin? I wouldn't go that far, but... I don't know what the hell my genes look like, and I don't care. I operate on instinct. Like an animal? I'm going to save like Meryl. I don't need an excuse. <laughs> Okay. And Why I'm not is she doing so pressed? No one else either. I'm gonna save Meryl for myself, Colonel. Don't worry. Snake. Thanks. I understand. I'm sorry. Is she my ex. Load. Snake, Meryl's in danger. Find a sniper rifle so you can shoot back at Wolf. It's the only way to save Meryl. Okay. Yeah. 
Oh shit, 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 shit. Snake, run. To go and find one. All right, dogs, help me. <gasps> Dog. Dog does not like me. Dog does not like me. seen a sniper rifle anywhere on this base a sniper rifle Merrill's been shot by an extremely good sniper sniper a high quality sniper rifle is the only way I can fight back I uh, I saw a PSG one in the armory in the second floor basement of the tank hangar the second floor basement of the tank hangar I have to go all the way back there well yeah what's wrong with you <laughs> uh, nothing save Meryl then. I'm hoping that as long as I don't fall for it, they'll leave Meryl alive. So you're just going to leave Meryl there? She's hurt. I know what I'm doing. Meryl understands too. That's horrible. You're right. It Damn. is horrible. But that's war. And the first rule of war is to stay alive. Okay, maybe I'll play from here tomorrow. Is this a cliffhanger? Sorry, everyone. <laughs> Is this a cliffhanger? <laughs> but if I have to go all the way back and then get a weapon and then I'll go all the way back and then... It's gonna take a while. It is 1 a.m. I'll play more tomorrow. Reasonable with the backtracking you gotta do? Alrighty. This is where I will stop for today then. Oh. How can I help, Snake? Oops, I didn't mean to call you girl. But I'll save because I don't want to make you mad. Do it for me, Snake! Oh, I'll, I'll do it for you, girl! Didn't you just hear that there's a sniper rifle in the second <laughs> floor basement of the tank hangar? Go get it and save Meryl. Attitude. Snake, you cannot win without a sniper rifle. You cannot save the girl either. Find a sniper rifle. It is the only way to save Meryl. I love her accent. Don't suddenly look into the dark. Look slowly from a light area to a darker area. If you do that, <laughs> your eyes will gradually adjust and you'll be able to see better in the dark. Try not to play in the dark either. Thank you. No response. No response. Otacon, where is there a sniper rifle? There's a PSG one in the armory in the second floor basement of the tank hangar. I love these little talks. They're so fun. I love calling everyone. Snake, just tell me. I'll do anything to help. She's so cute! Okay. Please, Snake, don't give up. <sighs> And this is where I will stop before the doggies eat me alive. <laughs> if I just... Wait, 
Is this gonna be okay? Like, I just closed the game? Where, where will it, did I, where did I save? <laughs> um, <hey. laughs> I wonder where it'll send me to, return to the main menu. Unsaved data will be lost. It'll be fine. I just want to check. Press the plus button. Load game. Okay, we're good. And we'll start there tomorrow! Ugh, there's no switch. Alright, let me unplug my switch real quick. There's like this thing on TikTok right now. There's this video trending of this kid singing this song that apparently is like a British harvest song. I can't stop thinking about that song. The apples are ripe, the plums are red. How the fuck do I plug in a display cable? Hey! Oh, it's not working. Do you know that song? Do you know that song? I learned it on. I learned it on TikTok. There's like this kid who sang it, and people keep adding instrumentals on top of it, and it's very cute. It's my new, my new, my new corn song. <laughs> what song do I play? I really gotta pick a BGM. It's corn. A big lump of knobs. It has juice. It has the juice. Do we just listen to cheese cracker? Cheese cracker. 1 a.m. Brainworms. <laughs> that was so fun! I feel like my brain is very small. So, I don't know. Thank you for the super chat! Thank you! I had a blast here for the next stream. Thank you! Thank you for the super chat. Thank you, thank you. Welcome back to Marvel Streets. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you! Welcome back to Marvel Streets. Thank you, thank you. It was very fun. Um, it's difficult, and the story is complicated. <laughs> like my brain is like, <sighs> but it's really fun. I really like the gameplay. Funky beat, yeah. It's like it's giving Earthbound vibes. <clears throat> you made so much progress, really. You're not supposed to understand at this point. It's okay. Oh, okay. It gets more complicated. Ooh. The game is not very long. Yeah. In the middle of the game? I just know that... Well, I think like... A boss fights later will be hard. <laughs> the fights get harder and then I will suffer. <laughs> bow, bow. 
<coughs> Almost at the disc swap. Peto! Thank you! Thank you for the super chat. Thank you, thank you. Also got my new office chair on Black Friday. Yippee! <gasps> Yippee! Congratulations! Getting a new chair was really one of the best things that I ever did. This thing is so awesome. Cycle Mantis is the hardest fight for a lot of people. Oh, really? It was fun. I think I like all of the boss fights so far. Hope you had a good stream, Petra! Hello, Pentomos. I'm hungry. The sniper Wolf fight is really hard. Oh... I think... Hmm... Probably... Sniper... Sniper sounds difficult... No way... Dovin? <laughs> Dovin! What the hell? <laughs> oh my god! Almost two million times? How come Pick W has been used a million times more than most- than the second most used emo? That's crazy to me. Oh my god, Dovin, thank you for counting. This is actually insane. You're insane. <laughs> Holy shit. I can't believe it's been used a million times more than the others. Thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you. 10 year old me with Psycho Mantis portion blew my mind. <laughs> All the meta moments on the codec. <laughs> yeah, I'm really enjoying it. It's really fun. It's like really reminding me. It, I don't know. <coughs> Not because it came out around the same time, but it's like giving me. Like, I've, it reminds me of Resident Evil 2. I think it's just because of like the keys like the card keys and like walking around and doing a bunch of stuff <clears throat> it reminds me of that because i've never i haven't played much of like i don't what is this style of game like like shooting i don't know like yeah, fixed camera angle and shooting. Stealth. Stealth action. Yeah. Definitely. I haven't played much of these kinds of games, so I guess they just remind me of each other, but... Yeah. Yeah, they're definitely not the same gameplay-wise, but, like... The third person. I've also never played a game where it's, like, mostly bird's eye view, so it's crazy to get used to. I wasn't expecting it to be like top looking down the whole time. I wasn't expecting it. But it's fun. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you. Thank you. What special abilities would you have? What would my code name be? Dragon D's. Wreck the raccoon! character so far Urinal killer. <laughs> oh, 
Morkan. He is cute. <coughs> Welcome back, Rubber Shoes. Thank you, thank you. Local Gunsters Revolver section. Too bad you'll never be able to buy the best revolver ever made. Is that what he said? I'm trying to make a Metal Gear reference. <laughs> Revolver Ocelot. Six bullets. That's all he needs. The greatest handgun ever made. <laughs> and I'll talk to is someone like me who likes Japanimation. <laughs> thank you for the super chat. Thank you. Thank you. Did you know you have 900 plus yippies now? That means we can make it, everyone. I can yippee a hundred times in the next month. Easy. I can yippee a hundred times at least by the end of the year. But if we're counting from Xenoblade Chronicles 3, wasn't that last year? Or is this like excluding Xenoblade? Already last year. That was last year. I know. It was like... Way last year, even. It's been over a year, right? When did it come out? July? No, August? Wait, July. Mm, July? 2022? It was supposed to come out in September, but it came out in July? Oh my god, I can't believe it's been a year and a half almost since Xenoblade Chronicles 3 came out. That is fucking insanity! <laughs> That's fucking crazy. You're pretty good. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for the super chat. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's crazy. <gasps> I can't believe it came out so long ago. Baker sound effects earlier killed me. Welcome back to Remember Shoes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Heart. What's been your favorite moment so far? Probably the part when Otakon and Snake are talking about Meryl. <laughs> I think that's my favorite part so far. When they're talking about her running and then in the next scene it requires you to look at her walk so that you can figure out which one of them is her that's so <laughs> that's so silly <laughs> he is a genius Scary when he kept cutting in, though. I'm excited. I'm so excited. Like playing this, I was really worried that I was it was gonna be too difficult for me the game, but I feel like it's like at a pretty good, like I'm going at a pretty good pace. getting better at games. I mean, I'd hope so. I've played so many different genres over the last two and a half years. <laughs> I better be! <laughs> I better. I better be better than at least two years ago. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty fun. 
You're pretty good. I keep forgetting that... Like, I say it and I'm not thinking about it. Keep it up, gamer. <laughs> as a soldier and as a gamer. <laughs> Unknowingly trigger poem every time you say it. It's just, I'm saying it without thinking. Like, I just say, I just say it. That's just something that I've said before I even knew it was a Metal Gear reference. You'll eventually start thinking of it when you say it? I guess so. Slam a long silver bullet into a well-greased chamber? What the fuck? You'll also have Metal Gear Solid Brain Rot? Mm, I don't think so. Well, I don't know. We'll see. You're just the first game, don't worry. Yeah. Do you have a weapon hidden somewhere on that outfit? Of course. The most deadly weapon of them all. Dumb bitch juice. <laughs> you know what's funny is that like for the original design of this outfit, my mama like drew an eye patch. <laughs> I had like a crazy eye patch. Um, like in the original design of this outfit, there was like a crazy eye patch, and I was like, oh my god. <clears throat> no eyes? No, it was the one under my bangs. <laughs> Why didn't it go through? I don't, I don't know. I was like, I don't know. I, I didn't want the eye patch at the time. You missed the chance to be Chuni. Maybe I'll ask for it like down the line. Then my mama can re-add the eye patch. <laughs> I feel like this outfit was like really well time for me to start playing I almost said Xenoblade Metal Gear I feel like it fits the mood pretty good I even have like a little hair ribbon on the side that's like a snake's little flowy ribbon <laughs> I don't... is it his headband? <laughs> His bandana. Yeah. I have flowy hair ribbons. <laughs> yeah. God, I'm so tired. My other hand pose would be enough to hold a revolver PNG. This one. Probably not.
<coughs> Probably not hurt me more. <laughs> Strangles you. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. You can never escape Rex. I really can't. Even in Metal Gear, I can't escape Rex. What the fuck? <laughs> this man haunts me everywhere. Everywhere I go. Rex. I should have never made fun of him. <laughs> Leave it to Uncle Rex. He's gonna show us a thing or three. Rex does mean king. Oh. <sighs> Your next outfit can be the Rex Salvager fit. No! I could pull it off. Little holes in my thighs. <laughs> thank you for the super chat. Thank you, thank you. Parallel universe, this game features Metal Gear Akechi? <laughs> Hell no! Akechi is just like... Psycho Mantis. Psycho Mantis. Standing in the corner. They don't know I was an unwanted child. Salvager's code number nine. Any other game, Rex is the same. Salvager's code number ten. Make a girl with ass, she's just not gonna pass. <laughs> Make a girl <laughs> with a chest, that's the best. <laughs> Metal Gear is also crazy though. I didn't like. <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna be. I mean, I knew it was gonna be kind of silly because Pomo was like telling me it's a silly game. But like, <laughs> I didn't expect to laugh this much. Like, I I knew that from time to time it would be silly, but <laughs> I didn't think that I would laugh this much while playing the game. I thought it was serious to like an extent. Wait till you get to three. Oh no. Three? Which one is your what is your favorite Metal Gear game to everybody who's played them? Three, 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 one, three, four, four, three, th everyone really likes three. Two, two and Peace Walker. Three, one, one, one and three. Three, it's so much fun. Three is very popular. Yeah, because they're making the remake. Five is good too. Peace Walker. Two, two. Two because of the story. Peace Walker and two. Three is great. Three is so good. What a thrill. Two has a damn good plot. It's crazy. 
damn i'm so excited after three that song will never be the same for you yeah probably not <laughs> Can't play three without crying. Two is really good. Oh, shit. Knowing you, you'll love four? <laughs> three is the one that's getting a remake, right? Yowie ramps up starting in three. Okay, everyone. I'm ready. I'm so guys. We gotta get through one and two. We gotta get through one and two so that we can get to. We gotta get to number three. <laughs> two is the most anime. It's just like Xenoblade. <laughs> Plenty of <laughs> That's so crazy. What? Stop, everybody. Stop it. I'm, so, I'm scared now. Maybe I can't play this game anymore. Maybe after one, we have to stop. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Peace Locker has co op and four player boss battles. Is that the one where you can like play with? Pomo was telling me that there's like one of them that you can play with your viewers, and she said it was very fun. Yeah, that's Peace Walker. Cool. She told me it was very, very fun and that she highly recommends. for the super chat. It's been one of those weeks. Cauliflower, fluffy, and cabbages green. Strawberry sweeter than any I've seen. Do, 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 do. <laughs> do, 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 do. The apples are ripe, the plums are red. Something, something. I can't remember the lyrics. I can't stop thinking about that song. It's so cute. Did you manage to become a solid snake? I think so. To an extent. Absolutely gaming. Thank you. What did he say again? My intuition as a gamer. I was using my intuition as a gamer. My instincts as a gamer. Trust my instincts as a soldier. Gamer. Fire. Sticky note. My 
can make that my stream title. <laughs> <laughs> For tomorrow's stream. <laughs> All right, I'll get really hungry. I'm hungry. I wonder who is streaming tonight. Let's see. Oh, you know I haven't sent you two yet since I. <laughs> Since I've been home, <laughs> it's time. <laughs> it's time, everyone. Oh no, she's drinking. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> it's time, everyone. Ah, oh, my chat crashed. You guys are just so happy that it crashed my chat. We're in danger. No, no, no. Oh my god, I bought like so many comfy socks. Like I saw them and I was like, these have to be like the best socks ever. So I bought them because they're on sale. And I bought like <laughs> six of them. <laughs> I bought like six pairs of them because they look so comfortable. And I got home and I just put them on and I, oh my god, I'm so happy that I bought six pairs because they're so nice. And I'm like, yay! They have cute designs? No, they're just like really like wooly socks. But it's been really cold. Like super wooly socks. And they had a bunch of different colors. So I was like, okay. And I bought a bunch of them. And they're really thick super thick and my feet are so warm and nice feels so good because it's been cold as hell it's about to get colder why do people say cold as hell is it just me do people say cold as hell but isn't hell hot i do is hell cold Hell froze over. Depends on the version. Oh. Depends. Oh. It depends. Oh. Huh. No idea. you too that's true oh cool I no idea I haven't thought about it Alaska snake should have wore these socks because I think snake's feet would have been nice and warm if he was wearing the socks that I'm wearing during his trip to Alaska right now Oh, it's cold. In Metal Gear. So that's why we can see her nipples. But she's cold. It all makes sense. she didn't have a bra on or maybe she did no i don't think so there's no way totally not because of the 1998 polygons there's no way that it's the 1998 polygons when she's facing towards you and you can see Well, 
I'm gonna go eat dinner <laughs> and go to bed. And uh, make sure to wake up early tomorrow, everybody, to watch Millie's outfit reveal. The last of the Zutomo outfit reveals tomorrow morning. I'm very excited, setting my alarms to watch Millie's outfit reveal tomorrow morning. Too early. Yeah, I woke up and I watched Anna's like half of, like I don't even think my eyes were open but I, was, I woke up I said so many alarms woke up for Anna's and I was just sitting there and my eyes were like <laughs> barely open watching and I was like I saw the outfit and then I was like <laughs> it just passed right out again <laughs> same time tomorrow for episode two probably start at six o'clock tomorrow I was supposed to start at six o'clock uh e eastern time today but I wasn't feeling so good today, just in the brain. But tomorrow I'll start proper at 6 p.m. Eastern time, so one hour earlier. Today I was supposed to start at 6, but I wasn't, I don't know, my brain was not feeling so good. So I'll start at proper time tomorrow, 6 p.m. Eastern time, and then. Yeah, I'm probably gonna play it on Sunday too. I don't think I'm gonna finish the game tomorrow. So I'll probably play on Sunday as well. That's my plan for now. Yeah! We'll see. Unless I feel crazy. <laughs> Unless I feel absolutely insane. And I'm just the greatest gamer ever. <laughs> We'll see though. We'll see. Crazy. Oh, it was crazy. It was what are you? What aren't you insane? You got me there. <laughs> <sighs> Alrighty. <sighs> so tomorrow, part two of Metal Gear Solid. Start at 6 p.m. Uh, tomorrow morning, Millie's outfit reveal. Make sure to watch that. It's very cute. I've seen it. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna send you to Scarlet tonight. And yeah, thank you for helping me with the game. It was very fun. It was very fun. Thank you for all your help and advice. It made the game, playing the game, fun for me. It was very good. Everyone was very well behaved and I had a lot of fun. <laughs> Glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, I did enjoy it. I feel like everyone was very good and very well behaved and everything was... Sometimes I would look over and see Pomu deleting messages. I was like, ah, my girl got me. Thank you, Pomu. I love you. <laughs> You did? I saw like a couple times I would look over at chat and I would just see a message has been deleted by Pomo Rainbow and I was like oh, I love you Pomo thank you for watching my bag <laughs> wasn't a lot of backseat I think it was spoilers not backseat I don't know well if Pomo deemed it as a spoiler she probably deleted it <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. Yeah. The codec is a backseater. <laughs> I love the codec. Yo. I didn't think that he was just going to straight up tell me what to do. That was so funny. When the colonel was like, I got it. Plug your controller out of one and into two. I was like, oh. Wow! <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> so awesome that he just tells me what to do. I love that shit. <laughs> My brain's a little too silly. So I'm like, what is happening? But I really genuinely probably never would have ever guessed that. But that's crazy. Like, that's so big brain. 
I wish I could have played it on the PS1 just to see. I think I would have probably lost my mind too if I had to have unplugged my controller and plugged it into a different port. And then after that whole thing, it shows the notification like, please plug your controller back into port one. Like, I think I would have probably lost my mind. I still feel like I'm losing my mind right now when that happened, but like. Back then, if you played it, yeah. It's so cool. So awesome. When did you play Castlevania and why aren't you streaming it? I did not play Castlevania. There's like, you can make like, virtual memory card in this game. And it lets you pick from a bunch of games and you load it into the virtual memory card in the game and then when you start up the game or i guess when you get to that point the game can see like the little virtual memory cards unless you're joking <laughs> sorry <laughs> unless you're being like hmm, why didn't you stream it but you were like as a joke then i'm very sorry you get to choose it yeah there's like a bunch of them yeah, on the PS1 I read your real memory card. That's so crazy. I totally forgot that, like, consoles used to have memory cards. But when he started saying that, it reminded me that, yeah, we had to plug those little shits in. I totally forgot. Still do. I guess, but, like, I kind of just forget about it. Like, you plug in your... <laughs> your 512 gigabyte is that how much it is little micro sd into your switch and you never think about it ever again but like those things you they were like visible to the eye you know what i mean like you would plug it in and then you would plug your you would plug it like you could physically see it being plugged in I totally forgot about that. It's like Greed Island. <laughs> it's just like Greed Island. <laughs> cards for the switch i don't know how much mine has maybe mine has one i don't know why is everything connected it'd be like that <coughs> okay i'm getting really hungry and tired i said you just are like now thank you everybody for coming to today's stream that was so fun I'm so excited to play more tomorrow! I hope that I can save Meryl. I'm scared that she's gonna die. <laughs> I don't want her to die! Because then I'm gonna... Ah it's okay. Like, honestly, I'm pretty motivated to fight Sniper Wolf because in Sakamoto Days recently, there was a sniper versus sniper fight. And it was really awesome. So I kind of feel like I'm living... <laughs> I'm living my Sakamoto Days. <laughs> moment right now I feel like I'm it's just like my Japanese mangas <laughs> so I really feel like, like like I just read a sniper battle in Sakamoto days like what happened it was like a few weeks ago now like three or three four weeks ago I still haven't read last week's chapter or this week's chapter I'm scared I'm gonna read it tonight Oh. Yeah. Okay, everybody. It's Betty Bye time for me. I don't even think I can eat. I think I'm just gonna 
go to bed. I'm really tired. Good night, everybody! I'm gonna go. I think I'm just gonna go to sleep. I'm really tired. I'm so cold. It's yeah, tomorrow morning. I'll eat in the morning, maybe. I don't know. I'll eat whenever. I'm like hungry, but I'm more sleepy. Like, I don't think I have the energy. Eat and sleep. Wait. Hmm? I have the energy to sleep. <laughs> we know she's gonna watch TikTok. <gasps> Cauliflower, fluffy, and cabbages green. Strawberries sweeter than any I've seen. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Wait, do you know that? Does anyone know that song? Did anybody ever learn that song? Ever? No, no, no. Damn. I wanna... I don't know it. I said it was like a UK... I think probably people in the UK are asleep, so... I'm gonna ask on Twitter. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everybody, for coming to today's stream. It's a British thing? Yeah, apparently. I don't know. I saw it on TikTok and people were just... It was just a kid singing it and then, like, people played a bunch of instruments over it and it was very wholesome. And it's so cute. And the kid was really cute singing it, too. It was so awesome. Anyways. Good night, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow where we will feast. And other crazy people. I think I like Psycho Mantis. He was funny. <laughs> I think I like him more than I thought. <laughs> Psycho Mantis. <laughs> I'm so sad he died though. Cauliflower fluffy. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> All right. What if we just stayed here? Oh my god. <laughs> That'd be so crazy. Like, we just stay here. And, like, I should be waking up now. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Go to bed. I have Codex and Smash. I know. Snooigi. Snooigi. No. For Zutomo. Oh my god, you're right. Okay, it's time to go to bed so that we can all wake up for Millie's outfit reveal tomorrow. Snooigi was born from the codec in Smash Bros. Because Snake respects Luigi. And if Bowser doesn't act fast, he's gonna be gone. Just saying! Like, if Bowser doesn't get on that, there's another man who's gonna swoop right in. I'm just saying. All right. Good night, everybody. Mwah, mwah. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow for more Metal Gear Solid. Good night. Choo, 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 choo. Luigi is worth fighting over. So true. I want to play Mario Wonder because I want to see I want to see everybody as an elephant. I think that would be so funny. Oh my god, you know... <laughs> Wait, give me one second. <laughs> I talk about... I want to play Mario Wonder because of the... The Piranha Plant song. It's so funny. Anyways, I'm really excited for the Game Awards. I keep forgetting that it's like literally next week. Uh, it's not. Sorry. It's in a week and a half. We should watch it. We should watch the Game Awards. Oh my god. Like last year. Maybe. I'll try to do a watch along maybe. Hopefully. It's so close. Yay! Piranha plant. My spirit animal. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. How do I end stream? Oh, good night! I can't believe it's.
It's almost been one year since Flute Guy. <laughs> oh, the man who saved Xenoblade Chronicles. <laughs> it's almost been a 